All right. It's your boy. <laughs> uh, I forget to look up athletes every single week, but welcome to oh, episode this week? 28. 28? Oh, this is easy. The Critically Unfocused oh, Podcast. Is it easy? Tell me why it's easy. Uh, Adrian, Adrian Peterson, Peterson is the only one that matters. Adrian okay. Peterson, Fred Taylor. Yeah, see? Adrian I, Peterson, I, Fred Taylor. I know NBA players were 28. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. So we good. We can stop with those two. I'm okay with you. You know what though? Backs. If if there's two running backs that have Ronald that Dunn. number, there's a good chance that like there's like a an old running back who wore that number that we just don't really know about. Marshall Falk. Oh yeah, Marshall Falk. That was Marshall Falk. Okay. You Curtis, know, uh, they, Curtis Martin they wore be 28. Inspired by somebody. Okay, I thought Curtis Martin wore 21, but that sounds right. Yeah, 28. Damn, Marshall Falk might be the best 28 ever. Now that I'm thinking about it. Marshall Falk, that dude. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah, he was that deal. He has some ridiculous uh, numbers. Uh, Gaylord Perry from the uh, See? Texas Rams. Uh, all right, you scared me for a second. <laughs> oh, Daryl Green wore 28. See? Fastest man of all time. Shout out to Coach uh, Rush. Chris Johnson. Johnson. Hey, I didn't I didn't know who Daryl Green was until I watched the uh, the like skills competition, I think in like Pro 2005, bullshit. Yep. when he was like 48 years old and dusted them niggas in the 40. Yeah, he oh, he's fast, fast shit. like that. He was fast, fast for yeah. real. They were they kept saying like, yeah, the fastest man in, in, in the NFL history. And I'm like, OK, I've never heard of this dude. And I, he raced like I don't remember who it was, but some like young dudes at the time. He smoked him. Yeah. Coach Russia, he's the best athlete he's ever seen because they played at Texas right. Tech together. Sounds about right. You don't remember that shit. That was nineteen fifty. You see it in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shout out what to Coach it? Rush though. Go any the other twenty eight? Any NBA players were twenty eight? I'm trying to think of an NBA player. I made it halfway through the list and didn't see a single NBA player. If somebody did, they got like that number out of some hazing shit. No one picked that. A Boston Celtics star probably wore that shit. Yeah, but because you you had to, it was like one of four <laughs> numbers left. Yeah, no, nah, I'm I'm down to oh work done. Hey, shout out to oh, him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey man. FSU legend. Real, real nah, humanitarian awesome. legend too. Giving Facts. out the houses to the mamas. No, yeah, yeah. He's real. Yeah. He gave a house to um nasty man Watson's mom <laughs> when he was growing up. I remember that was a big story when Deshaun Watson was coming to the league. Yeah. Like, yeah, man. He's like I was a War Gun fan because he gave us our first house. I done seen one too many Eagles fans be like, fuck it this week. Let's get it. Hey, <laughs> hey man. Eagles and Dolphins fans are ready to risk it all for Deshaun, bro. <laughs> Which is funny because Jalen Hurts has looked like looked mid one game and they're like, nope, never mind. Send it. No, it's more than that because you got to remember the end of last season after people had tape on him, he looked mid too. Yeah. So now people are just like, oh, maybe how all we right, started well, out isn't the truth. <laughs> hey, Bill Cosby just got out too. You get uh, Deshaun Watson, Ugh. Bill Cosby clicked up in Philly. Oof. Yuck. Oh, the, shit. the streets are not safe. Boozy going to be at the game. Uh, Bill Cosby <laughs> sent him a shout out for his movie. No, <laughs> Boozy hate gay people. He'll be there to throw flowers like a motherfucker that game though. He's like, oh, but Deshaun Watson nah, ain't do nothing wrong. Nah. He's he's a hardcore Saints fan. Yeah, Boozy, probably true. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, can't, yeah. can't pick who cheers for your team. Proximity. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he's from out there. Yeah, how y'all doing though? What's up? Man, I'm doing good. It's been a good week. It's been good about Honestly. it. Just it, it, nothing bad is what's been good about it, honestly. Nothing bad has happened this week, really. Uh, it's been smooth sailing at work, been com- been able to come home, watch some TV, play the game, have a couple brews with no uh, with no issues, and that's all I can ask for. What you got right there is a platinum, it is a Bud Light Platinum. Ooh, you fancy, yes, yeah, sir. You know, gotta blame the show out on these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Disgusting. How, you, how you doing, Shakur? I'm good. I didn't work 70 hours this week. I feel good and bad. It's nice when people come to work. It is is so good when people come to work and you don't have to cover for people all the damn time. You got to get off that plantation, bro. They can't keep doing us like that. We we, we done fought too much. (laughs) He tried to change the them short. The last week was just terrible, bro. But, this should nah, be no a lot better like in a year where you work seventy fucking hours. That's insane. Well, I did work. I I I did work both my days off. Nah, bro. Yeah, he, like th- those. Yeah, it would have been like sixty something. But I, it's hard to turn down double pay, man. 
Never been there. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> hey man, we ain't all got it like you, my brother. You know, some of us got it. It is what it is. You have you have multiple gold Shut chains. Shut the fuck up! Grill. Shut I'm up! Try we'll to talk to you about what I got yeah. and what you. Not know only a gold grill, he got a top and bottom gold grill. Yeah. How many people you know can afford both? The whole mouth. And is hogging up his roommate's garage with all of his shoes. <laughs> I got rid of those. Uh, I li- I hooked up Michael with them. I gave him the mic. My uh, the Bruce Lee Kobe nines. Look, and, Damn, and he's not even he's not even in his room right now doing this podcast. You would fit him, Tyrell. So if you wear a twelve, his they're eleven and a half, and they run small. You they would have hurt your feet because we wear the same size shoe. You couldn't wear them. All right, all right. Yeah. Same thing. How's your week, Blake? I've had a tremendous week, but it's also been incredibly stressful. Maybe like the most stressful, not the most stressful, one of the most stressful weeks of my life. But what's um, up? I'll talk to you guys about that. So, um, here for, I guess, yeah, for all of our pod listeners, I got a new job. Start my new job on Monday. Congratulations. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Um, Congrats. by the way, yeah, I've like, Don basically, DeMarco, I, DeMarco. nah, man, I don't have the sound bar set up for this, uh, the sound bar set up for this episode. So we're not going to have any sound effects. Um, there there you go. Go. round of applause. Then. There you go. No, yeah. Proud of you. Um, Thank you. Um, but basically, um, let me start from the top. So at, this is what probably my fifth job since I've been like a IT professional. I think my fifth. Yeah, I think my fifth. The one I'm sorry, but my fifth. But either way, um, up until this point, every single job that I've left, it hasn't been like a thing where I'm choosing between two jobs. It's like the next one is either the next one by default because I'm moving or because it's just that much better than the one that I'm leaving. Um This time, it was really a situation of um, I got an offer from a company and the place that I'm working at, that I was working at currently that I just left, um, I had no issues with. Like, I could have stayed there for however much time I have left in North Carolina and been perfectly fine. I don't have any complaints about my job. um, It's not, like, the best job in the world, but at the same time, it's not, like, anything that's causing me stress. Like, I don't take anything home with me when I go home from work, Um, which is, which I feel like that's a plus about a a workplace, really. Like. Yeah, if it's not if it's not dragging you down or anything like that, but the one the reason like I started looking for another position is because I felt like I wasn't being challenged anymore, right? Um, oh, so I just wanted a new challenge to step into. Um, so got an offer from this company. <laughs> I got an offer from this company. Um, of course, it's like more money than I was making at the moment, and I put in my two weeks because I thought that they weren't going to counter my current job wasn't going to counter um, because the person that left my position prior to me. They didn't counter for him. They just let him walk. So in in my mind, like I still think his skill set of what I was doing currently um, is a little bit past where I am. So if they didn't counter for him, they weren't going to counter for me. But they did counter, um, and their counter wasn't up to the same amount of the where I'm going. But like I said, like I don't have any stress at my job. I don't take anything home with me. Like I'm fine. So if you look I'm for stepping, pros and cons. That's that's kind of what I did, right? So it's like you, when you go to a new place, you're stepping into the unknown. You don't know your mm-hmm. work environment. You don't know what's going to be on your plate. You don't know who you're working with. You don't know how the all it's going to affect you, right? And it right now, I have ass. yeah, I have no negatives at my current place. The money mm-hmm. doesn't match up, but like I is was it ready close to... enough for some maybe more. What's the commute to? Is the commute bad? Like I was, um, it's like six it? minutes further. So oh, okay, all right, relatively the same. Yeah, okay. Um. The the amount that was different between the two was if if I got a job offer for just that difference in yeah. to leave, I wouldn't have left my current job. Oh, so, okay. So it's, okay. Yeah. So I um initially I told them that I would take their counter offer, right? So then I contact back the place who was offering me the new position, and I tell oh, them, "Hey, no. I'm prepared to accept the counter," and they go ballistic in, but not like oh. in an upset way of like aggressively trying to get me back so i end up talking to the recruiter who has been recruiting me i talked to her for like 40 minutes then she passes me on to the vp of hr and i'm talking to her for like another 30 minutes and then they counter offer and um give me like a signing bonus and like an additional week of pto god damn <laughs> i know and so like yeah. this is like a super emotional conversation because my, my thing was like right now like like i said like i have a, a ton of flexibility um i don't have any stress i don't have any negatives about where i work 
And that's really important to me because, like, if, if I need to leave and go get, like, my daughter from daycare for whatever reason, I have to stay home for a week because, like, someone popped for COVID or whatever, I can do that at my current spot. And so I was just worried about those things not fitting at the place that I'm going to. But she said all of that would be fine and to even make things easier for you would t- take the signing bonus in the week of PTO. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I, this is it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not listening to another account for my current job. I'm going in there and telling them that I'm leaving. So that, all that was stressful because I had to go back on my word with my yeah, boss, yeah. which I don't like doing. And when my new job countered, this happened on a day that I was homesick. So it already looked bad. Cause like, this was like within my two week window and I missed the day. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I just and felt by shitty. The way, I'm not coming back. Oh, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had the next day that I yeah. go in, which was a Thursday, I had to tell her like, Hey, I got countered and I'm, I'm not staying. So my last day is tomorrow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's and hilarious. yeah. So like none of that felt good. But at the same time, like I'm like super like, excited, excited. And like, looking nice. forward to Monday starting my new position. Um, but that all that was just, like, stressful. And, like, you don't really ever get, even, like, in college and stuff like that, I don't you don't get taught how to navigate the situation. And I really didn't have anybody to talk to. But thankfully, like, one of my coworkers, he got offered by the same company that I'm going to. So he had kind of dealt with the same thing. He's, I don't want to say too much. Um, but either way, he was someone I could bounce stuff off of. And my sister actually went through a similar uh, scenario as well um, with her job. So those were like the two people I could kind of get some information from on how to navigate this and like am I fucking up? Am I am I wrong for feeling the way I'm feeling and stuff like that? But yeah. I just like felt like on an island and like didn't know what to do. And that's like I said to y'all like I wish like there was like agents for normal people because yeah. I do not know how athletes do this shit because you get way too emotionally involved and attached to shit. Like it, I it's, it's hard. I can't you gotta cut an agent a check though. I can't. Wait I could give up two percent to do this. <laughs> I can't wait for the next off season. So when we're talking about free agent negotiation, we can really just tap in with you since you got that, you know, extra plane of knowledge. Hell no, nah. no. <laughs> what is Paul George really feeling right now, Blake? No, nah, man. Blake got the first nil deal for a regular <laughs> nigga. No, because like I look, I could feel like I could give up two percent because at the same time, I feel like if I had an agent, I would probably be making even more because oh, they for sure. They would know where to start the negotiations where, like, they don't, like, in, in my situations, like, they don't tell you that. They just say, so what are you looking for? Yeah. And I asked the, the, my coworker who um, was going through a similar thing, like, how do you start that? And he was like, you know, you just got to kind of, um, you just got to know your worth, man. You got to say what you feel. And I was like, what is but that like, mean? if I, yeah, but like, what does that mean? Like, I, if, because if, if if I feel like I can make five hundred thousand dollars a year, which is like nowhere, like I'm not I'm not making anything near that, not at all. But like, of course, I would want like that. Your fucking door in. I know, but like, <laughs> but of course, like, of course, like everybody would want that, right? So it's like, yeah, why wouldn't sure. I just say that? They're, but they're not going to pay me. That's going to hang the phone upon me. So it's like, <laughs> and that's I feel like that's the stress, most stressful part about trying to negotiate like money, especially with a new place is like. If I say too high of a number, are you just going to be like, no, we can't do that. Here's you can't afford can. it. Or are you going to be like, no, fuck you. We're hanging up on you now. Because I, no, I, like, I don't, I don't want to fuck the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah. Like, if, I don't want to fuck you, all the money up. Dog, and if you come in low, like they're going to run away with it. Like, oh, yeah, we Facts. got one. We got Facts. one. <laughs> yeah. One of my coworkers I, just went through a similar situation. He's leaving. And he uh, told the new players he wanted 80K. And which is significantly more than we make. And they were like, okay, yeah, we can't do that, but we'll do 78. So it's like, that feels a lot better than if they were just like, nah, we're not touching 80 and you're like, you're now no longer considered. So and you're a bitch. Yeah, no. And, and it, they could, they could definitely do 80. So why did they say that? Yeah. He could, he if you could do 78, you do 80. Yeah. Like I told y'all, I had one place where, um, I, it was a, an interview and they asked me a number and I said a number and it was lower than the range that we're going to start at. Like I said, I told oh, them ninety five thousand dollars, and they were like, "Oh yeah, well, this was going to start at one hundred and five, so we can definitely probably yeah. we'll 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 I, get you I, there." I would have been like, "Thanks for letting me know that. Let me get one twenty. Yeah. Like, thank you for on. letting me know what your floor was." I should have hung up and been like, "Sorry, you cut out, man. I didn't, I didn't even oh, say a number. Did, oh, what you, hear? you must not have heard when I said one ninety five. I said yeah. one ninety five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shit man but it's been a good week man i mean then i did like the golf thing today that went really well um i recorded it it was um, like top golf at a, a, go- a baseball stadium right yeah man and i got like this little uh camera that i've been using um, oh shit i recorded it on yeah like high take as fuck i know it, i mean but it, i mean this is like 200 dollars. just the camera was so it's cheap compared to like a GoPro, which is like 400 dollars. so 
Yeah, that's not Pretty bad. Cool. That's nice. Yeah. How did you so record I, it? You were recording like while you were swinging, or you had it set up on some? Uh, this is a tripod, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. These, these bad boys fancy, pop bro. out. Yeah. I thought that was one of those blackjack things, the ones that uh, the nigga off right. taking what to beat niggas with. All right. <laughs> I forgot nope. about Liam Neeson being a Liam Neeson, man. there we go. Yeah, I was just walking around the street with a billy club looking for colors to beat up. You mean Aslan? God damn, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm my boy Aslan. The first random black person I see walking the streets. You know, he saw somebody like, oh, they kind of big. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They look like they're not alone. All right. Yeah, I'm not on the movie set right now. A weekday. <laughs> It's a wild ass thing to admit. Dog, that's <laughs> insane. Ever. Like, that's got to go to the grave with you, bro. That's like, you know, white people have no cares in the world. He's like, all right, I got a pretty big fan base. It's it's multinational. I was going to tell people I used to like to beat up niggas. So, yeah, so, let, me, let me cleanse this, these demons yeah. out my soul. Yeah. <laughs> Black people don't fuck with the, the first Star Wars and those taken movies that much, bro. We, not we, definitely we, not we, that much. He's not no Star Wars, is he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's quite uh, gone. Yeah. Well, you said mm-hmm. the first Star Wars. No, yeah, the, not the, the first. Yeah, you know the first. Yeah, yeah, first. One. yeah there we go. Dude, I just Wait, had almost man. a goddamn. Oh, I, I almost had a goddamn aneurysm trying to <laughs> figure that shit. It's the first, um, but the third. What, what the first? The f- 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 birth? first one that came out when we were alive. You, 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 you. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh why? shit, you that's hilarious. Now nah, yeah, fuck doing? Liam Neeson. Fuck Liam Neeson forever. All right, Link, what you got on the agenda for us this week, my boy? Fuck, man. My dog being an asshole. Um, That's okay. <gasps> ah! Okay. Give it that Mike Vick treatment. All right. No, I love it. We're talking about Mike Vick my, now, bro. My dog just started shaking when you said this. What's wrong with y'all? Look at you guys assuming the worst of the black man. You All right, man. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. NBA basketball camps opened up, man. Um, oh, the topic of the week has been vaccines, which oh. is kind of it's kind of insane. Just because ninety five percent of the league is vaccinated, but yet this is the thing that has been the most talked about. Cool. Yeah, brought it up. Yeah, right. say that again. I'm glad. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's Bradley Bill, man. Like you so get it. And you vaccinated? What's the point? That's a brand deal, bro. Now, honestly, the funny shit is Andrew Wiggins trying to get a religious exemption. And they're like, oh. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Nigga said, "You're not right with God like that, bro." No, they said, oh. "Yeah, okay, bro. I worship somebody, so I can't get." And they're like, "Nigga, no." <laughs> Hell to the no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> This shit is so insane, I, dog. So I, like, I did want, I did think it was hella wild that like the vast majority of the NBA, it like if you think about like, okay, it said like ninety two or the ninety five percent is vaccinated, ninety five today. Okay, so the, and there's four hundred and I think thirty eight players in the league. Mm-hmm. So that's like that's well under less than one per team is unvaccinated, and that's it's something like fifty players. Fifty. Yeah, something like 50 players. Okay, so I guess it could be more than one per team. But, like, they were asking, like, LeBron about it. Like, I thought it was hella weird that they felt the need to, like, ask every player, like, explicitly, like, are you vaccinated? How do you feel about the vaccine? Are you going to encourage other players to be vaccinated? Kind of nasty, ain't it? It's very nasty. And it it didn't seem like, (laughs) I I, I mean, the NFL doesn't do, like, a media day, but it didn't seem like the NFL did that. We for sure didn't hear that from any other sport. Um, So, I don't know. It was just weird. And then to see the, like, (laughs) <laughs> the like Ted Cruz came out this week and was like, I stand with Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Isaac. It's like if Ted Cruz stands with you on something, you you're wrong. Aren't right. <laughs> but it's like the like Clay oh, Travis man. coming out like, oh, these men are oh, so God. brave. And it's like, so if these niggas took a knee He's last year, it was their uh the super racist white dude that got fired from Fox Sports for being too too foxy. Yeah. Um yeah. Oh, he's yeah. big on Twitter he's now. It, it, he's blocked on Twitter by your boy. Um yeah, but I seen him come across my timeline on like some Oh yeah, like these people, like these people, are also brave now. When he was one of the main, like, oh, why are they taking a knee? Why are they wearing these shirts? Why are they doing this? So it's also super nasty to see these, like, oh, now that niggas are saying something to fit your agenda, they you you got their back. But when they're speaking out against anything else, it's oh, shut up and dribble and this, that, and the third. So it's it's uncomfortable. Like even if I think people should be vaccinated, having to see Andrew Wiggins do whatever that weird shit he was doing at the press conference, like. He shouldn't even have to do that. 
Like if the nigga yeah. want to miss games, like he gonna yeah, miss like games. Okay. Yeah, it's I feel like money. I feel like the because the the stipulations are like stiff enough as it is that if a player yeah. is still willing to go through all this shit, like one, yeah. they're being safer than your normal unvaccinated person. Where like they the NBA is crazy, you can't leave like your hotel room and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, and um. It's if you, if you don't comply with local vaccine mandates, you're not going to get paid for those games that you have to miss. Um, the city he plays in, you have to be vaccinated to play in home games. So if he's willing to go through all of that and still not get the shot, like I mean, I don't know. Like yeah, nigga ain't gonna get it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it's no, like, yeah. You're kind of trying to just make an ass out of him, which I mean, he can do that on his own easily if you put a microphone in front of him. Yeah. But at the same he time, has. it's like there's, you can talk about like Steph and. Clay and Andre Iguodala being back on the team and Draymond being there and like this is the team that won the title like they're All back right. the boys are back like talk about that that's a storyline like we don't need to hear from Andrew Wiggins who like you hope to get 17 points a game from maybe like I don't know yeah it was weird. 17 off 23 yeah. shots <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on Those y'all hold on. look kind of cool though Can y'all freestyle for like I don't know, like two minutes while I go. Oh, bit. Hey, Tyrell, did you watch Wonder Woman uh, this week? Like you said, you were going to. Uh, no, I got caught up with some other stuff on TV. Uh-huh. Um, well, uh, I did. You I was, I, what were you uh, watching? Uh, Tell me what you watching. lied to me about that you were gonna watch. Uh, we finished watching The Circle on Netflix. We fin- we started watching Squid Game. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been watching Money Heist with the Mara. That's pretty mm-hmm. good. Um, but I, I've been waiting for your uh, Wonder Woman 1984. Review. You gotta watch it with me so we can shoot these ideas off each other. I don't know if I want to be involved in that. What's your, what like? Did you think it was good though? No, it's <laughs> better, better than the first, but I think the first I, is terrible. The first one is terrible. They're zero for two in Wonder Woman movies, and it's funny because they, I we, like I've told you, I've told you guys before. I don't really care too much for the DC movies because I think they just be lame as fuck. So I haven't seen like There's Aquaman or Shazam, but like, did Aquaman have bad CGI like the Wonder Woman movie, movie did the first no. one? Like, the are Woman, they just uh, Aquaman? I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you gotta watch it. You should check it out. It's pretty good. The the, the Wonder Woman CGI in the first one where they had her like running across the battlefield and they, you know, she the tank shooting at her and she's like, oh, she's running straight tank. stiff as <laughs> and like that. You can see the bullets like changing their path of direction to go into her arm to be ricocheted off. It's like, what the fuck is happening right now? I am excited to see the Invisible Jet in the second one, though. Would you like to hear my notes? You have notes? Absolutely not. Yeah. Now that I know you have notes, I'm going to watch the movie. I... Oh, my God. That's a long list. All right. No, I'll watch, I'll watch the movie. Can I uh, Can I read off two points? <laughs> are they going to get us canceled? Oh. Uh... You have to think way too No, hard no, that. no, no. They're not. Okay. Make a wish ass villain. <laughs> okay. All right. Love interest from first movie finds her at a party but is in another man's body. So is she letting another dude fuck her? Is she cheating? The love interest from the first movie finds her at a party. The the like military World War Two dude? Yeah. But he's in another man's body. Yeah, it's weird. Did they so explain it's like, how, how or why he's in another man's body? Kind of. So I guess they did something, but like, nigga, it's so weird. Like he was in like Themyscira, and he got revived somehow. But he's in like another nigga's body. And the, so you can so, you can see why I don't want to watch this fucking movie, right? Yeah, but you have to because it's like I, okay, so so she sees him at a party, oh, and like shit. you're looking at this like. Like as you you're like you Tyrell, you're watching a movie, and like okay. yo, you see a whole different guy. It's not the nigga from the first one. It's just but a, she can another... see that it's her love interest. Yeah. How? I don't know. That's the thing. The he stone. says something to her. He says oh, something to she her. Has a stone. He said she has a yeah. stone. Yeah. Yeah. He says something to her, and then she's like, "How do you know that? Why'd you say that?" And then so it's like, so when she sees him, is that who she sees? Because no, at first, because she was just letting another dude fuck. Hold on, I was gonna say no. Low key, some problematic shit is is low key. It's not even low key. It's rape. Cause it, cause basically when she touched the stone, the the stone put Steve's. Is it anything Steve? Yeah. What's his name? Steve put his Steve, like, right? yeah. Put his like basically Steve, mind no. into this dude's body. But the dude is still like in there too. 
Um, he just oh. has no control over it. So sees control on the body and is talking and doing all the shit, right? I didn't even think of that. Like, just so she hooks up with eye. him. She hooks up with him. And that's then why, um, basically at the end of the name. movie, at the end of the movie, when they reverse all the shit, the dude just comes back. Like not Steve goes away and the dude comes back. He's like, man, what yeah. the fuck's going on? Where have I been at? Yeah. Wait, so is Steve living inside the stone? No, no, no. The stone just grants your wishes. Like, if you whisper some shit, it gives it to you. <laughs> That's why you said it's a Make-A-Wish villain. That makes perfect sense. Blake, mm-hmm. would you... Can I Can I, re, can I just read my notes off now? Nah, like, would you like right, to see yeah. some of my notes? I want to right, see them. These are some of my Remember. notes. Make-A-Wish as a villain. Mm-hmm. Broke failure Spanish businessman. Okay. Wishes turn himself into wishing stone. Okay. Why is Spanish man's son Asian? Okay. Love interest from first movie finds her, but is in another man's body, so is she letting another dude fuck? Is she yes. cheating? Does she only see the man she loved and not the actual guy? I'm confused. They fly a plane through a huge firework show, but plane takes no damage. Plane is only mm-hmm. invisible, not invulnerable. What the fuck? Final <laughs> battle is trash because these niggas are fighting at midnight and you can't see. The CGI isn't that well. It's too dark to see Cheetah. Ending is corny. Those are my notes. You know what Cheetah CGI reminded me of? Um, a porno parody? Nah, I mean, so like PS1 cutscenes and like Holy Beowulf, fuck. if y'all have seen that. That should look like uh, a Beast Wars. Yes, 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 like that. Yep. Yep. That was, and it's funny because, I, so I, Blake, I'm sure I've talked to you about it too, but like, Mm-hmm. I thought that that first movie was just wildly overrated by how people talked about it before I seen Jamal it. Jamal said the same thing. I, I liked the first like, movie. The I movie was okay, time. but like, it seemed like they had like our budget trying to make the movie, which kind yeah. of which like ruined some of the parts of it for me. I've only but seen it once. I'm, I'm willing to be wrong about that. Motherfuckers was talking about it like, all right, before you go see this movie, fire. Like, just know this is the best superhero movie that we've gotten since they started making superhero movies. But they said uh, about the first one. Dog, yes. People were hyping the shit out of that, that movie. movie. Was there was some shit out by then? Really? There was a lot Dog, of shit out by you. then. Yes, there was a lot of shit out by then. They were saying it was the best DC movie. Then. I was like, bro, this shit can't be better than like any of the Batman's. That's nuts. Or even Man of Steel. Like, I, like people were saying it was better than Man of Steel. It's the most Marvelly DC movie at the, up to that point. It was so I see what people would say that like because okay. if I if you that. weren't gonna go because. You got to figure like the Batman movies are way more grounded than Marvel movies. Um, yeah, Man of Steel true. even is too. So it's um, nigga, they was getting to it on Man of Steel. They was they fucking that deep. city up. Yeah, they was fucking <laughs> that city. <laughs> My God, <laughs> what kind of insurance do you got to have to even be in that city? Goodness gracious! You remember, you remember how that ended? Where, like Grodd is about to like fucking Zod's neck. Yeah, or yeah, Zod. I said Grodd. Yeah, Zod is about to like, like a slim roast with people. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Dog, that shit made an earthquake. I was like, God yeah. damn. I got to season three of The Flash now, speaking of DC. Damn, you'd have passed me. That's crazy. I watch this shit all the time. I just have it all while I'm doing other stuff. It's entertaining. Like, I like it. It's, it's good. I think it's still good. What I think people say it gets bad season four or five. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm digging it. it they, he's doing the fucking most. Barry's a reckless ass motherfucker. Like they tell him, "Hey man, you probably shouldn't time travel and go back and mess with shit." He's like, "I got this." <laughs> That's my. Dude. I'll figure like, it out. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna just let's just see what happens. Roll the dice. <laughs> hey man, shout out Candace Patton. Uh, Blake, did you have any other NBA shit you wanted to talk about? Yeah. Um. Or fuck I mean, Ben Simmons. God Why, damn. Say, if Ben Simmons gets traded to the Kings right now, you won't be saying that. Shut your ass up. Yeah, speak nah, on how like, you, wow. what, what's going on? Why you feel that Another way? Another person to take the ball out of De'Aaron Fox's hands. I don't feel like there's really any, like, I don't feel like there's a bad side in the Ben Simmons situation. I feel like both sides No, it's just up. like, like, it's like, oh, I'm not going to show up. I'm mad because Philly fans are making fun of me. I'm banned nope. from the city. Not really uh, that. If They're, hey, if, if after we after we ended the show tonight, if uh somebody tweeted the the critically unfocused podcast uh, mm-hmm. at CU unfocused on Twitter and was like, hey never uh, Blake, do you think uh do you think you guys could get a good sponsor with Jamal as one of the people on the podcast? And he was like, you know what? Really, I don't know. You'd be like, hey man, fuck you. And Ben Simmons is like, yeah, okay, fuck you. I want to work somewhere else now. I'm going yeah. to start my own podcast. 
Mm. So it's understandable why he'd be upset if your boss is like, yeah, I don't really know about this guy, man. But what if I work to improve? Has, has he done it? Has he improved anything? I'm I feel sure, like his I'm game sure, is just kind of like plateau. I'm sure in his mind he's worked to improve. Well, so, yeah, I mean, done? hold on. Though, made hold on let's talk about the NBA than us. Well, Wait, he let's made an all star game. La- he was in the all star game last yeah, year. Yeah, I'm not saying Multiple all stars, all NBA defense. Yeah, like, no, let's yeah. talk about the plateau. Like, he's, he's a tremendous player. Yeah. He just has a giant flaw. He just has a big ass flaw on offense event. And yeah. not, defense and on the defensive end, he's damn near perfect. Yeah, and, and on offense, all, offense end, like he's, he creates just fine. It's just he can't shoot. He yeah. scores, he can and score. That's too. a big thing, and that, bro. And that only has mattered during the playoffs, though. That's like I, me, like, hey man, yo, Jamal's cool and all. That's my nigga on the podcast, but he can't speak words. Nah, no, no. It would be like if, you, if you had thing, like a main... if you had it's a poor sense of humor. Right, that's like if you had like a poor example. sense of humor or like bad comedic timing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's kind of got both of those. Or if I just had Tourette's. I don't think he has a... Like the bad Tourette's? <laughs> no, disabilities do not make you unqualified to podcast. Let's get oh, out of the loops. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? <laughs> but that type of shit you just did right there is a Ben Simmons level flaw. <laughs> exactly. He can't give... He can't get... God damn, they're killing these niggas. Yeah. Oops. That's oh, my God. Tourette's niggas. Yeah. You don't have any Tourette's niggas. Maybe not shout... <laughs> Okay. So. Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> Let's go, man. Blake always got me. Let's go, man. Somehow Ben Simmons turned into uh, Jamal being ableist. <laughs> what what the fuck? I knew he I was an ableist all along. I I definitely knew it. I see how you took people in those years. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. So. Yeah. No. I don't. There's definitely. I don't. Uh, I think there's a bad side in Ben Simmons, and I think it's Doc Rivers. You think it's uh, Doc? I think it's Doc. Doc. Yeah, Doc, Doc Rivers that. is telling him, "Don't shoot." Doc. <laughs> hey Ben, pass up open dunks and pass it to Matisse. Hey. Hey, I need you oh. to fuck off the series. Like I said, you- hey, like like I said in like the second episode of this podcast, <laughs> if you're a coach and you know that you got a player on the team who either refuses to do something or just won't do it, can't do it. You, as a coach, you got to figure some shit out. You got to make some the nigga skip open dunk and pass it to the kid. <laughs> he skipped open. Not on a, oh. not on a mass contract, you know. two points. Not on a mass contract, dunk, that, that was obviously a, a, a glaring point, but it's not like he does that regularly. That's worse than the J.R. Smith-like thing when he did the house. Oh, shit. No, it's is not. It, it no, is. It's not. No, it's not. How's it not? I can understand that. Like, oh, shit. J.R. Smith forgot the whatever, but dog Ben Simmons had a wide can, open dunk. He's like, you can forget that J.R. Smith forgot the time on the clock. No, he didn't the pass it to the open dunk. And he didn't pass it to. Uh, he to passed Tobias it to a nigga Harris. who's cut. He was passing he did, to a nigga he did, who's cut into the pass basket. It to Bede. He passed to a nigga that can't shoot. He passed it you, to a nigga who's cutting to the basket who also would have dunked the ball. Y'all realize that get, that game ended. Um, they, they lost that game because of a bad foul by uh, Matisse Thibel, not yeah, because of that. Matisse Thibel was like a shit. Dude. I'm glad nobody talks about me fucking up. Yeah, he said that on the Reddit podcast this week. He was, he was like, like man, no one talks cool. about the the fact that we had a chance to win that game. Still, and I I blew it with a foul. Nah, Ben should have dunked. But yeah, you yes. don't go on TV and say yeah, like, hey man, he a hoe. I don't, I don't really know. The, the right. way I feel though, like, if Maybe, let's say, like, let's say Ben Simmons like wasn't listed as a point guard, like you know, like Jokic, like he creates like still all those um, assists from the center position. Um, he doesn't play defense like Ben Simmons, but obviously his offense is much better. Um, but either way, let's say like Ben Simmons just listed as a power forward and he's producing like what he's producing. No one would have these things to say about him. Yep, I feel like it's because he's a point guard that like yeah, he needs the ball. Like the fact that he's, he's not shooting gets gets kind of blunt. But like you can need the ball at center, or they can still run the offense through you at center, and you can create offense to other people. And I, your flaws I, don't I, become highlighted like this. Like Jokic isn't the best you, defender in the world, but no one even talks if that, about that. Even anyway. if he was listed at power forward, I don't think him and Embiid would do. Like, no, yeah, no, yeah, having, that's that's a bad two fit. guys who can't shoot. Like that's that's just the gist of it. Is like well, he needs Embiid to can shoot though. He shoots thirty eight percent. Yeah. yeah. Is true, but he's not so, his best there. He's his best when he's no, oh, yeah. He's he when he's putting a shoulder through yeah. people's chest, like yeah. you don't want and him standing out there. The only time he's not doing that is when Ben will get the fuck out of the dunker spot. Yeah, yeah. I think if anything, he should just be moved because Philly's got to look at that. Like, we have there's a better play to be made here, a better fit for us, yeah. but we've shit on this guy so much that don't nobody want him now. Because, like, I, what, <laughs> what teams other than like thinking that they have to trade away their best players or saying no to having been on their team, like. He makes most teams better. You just have to build your team around him, and he's sure yeah. that he's good enough on 
one and a half sides of the court to make that a re- reality. Like he could still put up points even when he's not shooting. It just doesn't help that in the playoffs. Like if you ain't going to shoot, like we can't really have you out here. If you're not going to do what you do best and clog up the space for our best player, like you got to, got to get the fuck out. The Bro, I know, I know the it. ball on the perimeter. Niggas run away from him. Like he has like, Remember the nigga on Hey Arnold that used to have all the bugs like stinky? Oh, <laughs> Niggas oh, run away man. from hey, him like. But that. if you think if you think about how Ben Simmons is built and like the way he actually plays, he could do exactly what Giannis does when he's on the perimeter and take two steps backwards and just run at you and dunk on your head. He's Did six it? ten, like two sixty, like he's but huge. He, but Giannis he's him, bro. Oh no, he ain't got I feel the like heart Giannis for that. He don't. Yep, he doesn't have the heart for that, which is also maybe a problem. But I'm hey, man, about that. I think um like dead ass like I still think like if. If I'm the Nuggets, I would trade Jamal Murray straight up for him. But I don't think – I think the Nuggets would get killed if they did that. But I think that works. I, I think they have that. enough shooting there. I could see that, yeah. And then let like MPJ kind of – You just, Yeah, you gave MPJ a max. Mr. Like, vaccine, yeah. It's time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You, you got everybody him, else you got, on that team can shoot for the most part. They got plenty of other people that can shoot the ball. Like, yeah. I think Nuggets fans would be so fucking pissed if they did that. So they've lost they Jamal Murray twice now in the playoffs because of injury. Like, come on. What are we doing? I would be mad as fuck. Uh, like, you just traded hey, who for what? Hey, you you throwing him and Aaron Gordon as your primary defenders at everybody? Like, that's yeah. What, nice what are we doing? Yeah, oh, the Nuggets, oh. the Nuggets, the Nuggets, and the Jazz both have a couple plays they can make uh, that both might involve Ben Simmons uh, that they're probably not willing to do. I don't. The Jazz. What is that? I Conley? used to be in on Ben Simmons, man. I don't fuck with him no more. He's a whole nigga, man. Damn. 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 You didn't, you didn't know, like my. Oh, I thought he was about to be like the next Braun. We for sure did. I still feel like he can. Braun just like started shooting nah, man. much nah, earlier man. in his Bron, career. Braun really Bron wasn't pussy. Ben is kind of yeah. pussy. Though. Hey, he's a hoe, man. Yeah, you know, I've seen Tim Duncan hit a three to win a playoff game before. So. <laughs> it's and, it's really like just about trying it. Like Giannis is like, I'm going to put this bitch up four times a game. What you going to yeah. do about it? Tim yeah. Duncan's knees clapped together to beat the Suns in a playoff game before. Jesus Christ, Christ. that's disgusting. <laughs> we, we, hey, it don't matter. He he can stop shooting with the wrong hand now. We've seen people with ugly ass jumpers. We've seen people fix their jumpers. Like John Mary was a thing. Do what Dude, works. Ka- Kawhi couldn't shoot until like three years ago. Like it can be done. You can start yeah, shooting. Lonzo's do remember like dude Channing oh Fry. Blake Griffin couldn't do anything but don't when he first came into the league. Yep. Yeah. Lonzo couldn't shoot. Yeah, there's hell of a Yeah, Lonzo shoot. Shoot. just gotta do everything. it. Channing Fry hey, how much became you a think, shooter. How much you think they paid him actors? How much you think they paid him actors that be in them videos with Ben Simmons where he'd be like shooting threes and shit? <laughs> Clout. Hey, they, well, they, they pay them niggas, bro. They don't he play any shoot. kind of de- they don't play any kind of defense in them pickups. I've never seen they be acting. They, face. Whenever he gets ready to shoot, they always like try to like do this real quick. <laughs> like they like, like, put a hand in his face. Yeah, man, they don't try to play defense out there. Like, Whatever local grocery stores in the area, like, hey man, two hundred dollars for each of you niggas, man. Come out here, hey, that, like, hey mailman, come over here. You you know, those got to be paid actors, bro. You they think no, nah, it's not killing them. Niggas, nah, bro. nah, the defense they be playing in those is hilarious. I don't, I don't know if those are real basketball players. The, he's bro, you know how homie. bad it is, dude. I've seen him like shooting jumpers over John Wall. All right, he might get traded for John Wall. And no disrespect to John Wall because that's my guy, man. But John God Wall's damn, also eight, eight inches shorter than him. Yeah, like though you ain't doing nothing. That nigga ain't played in two years either. <laughs> no, he did because he had like, that like over twenty game last year. Oh yeah, he had that. St- Hey, fuck you. I thought he was balling until you read the stat line. Fuck he you, fucked Blake. up. Whatever. All right. Well, let's we'll talk about some NFL shit. Um, yes, sir. What you got? So do, do y'all think curses in sports are real? Yes. I used to think the Madden curse was kind of real. You're a Manners fan. I don't think they're cursed. I just think we've had terrible management. But, uh, nah, I for that's sure. That's what I've heard a lot of people say. The management. Yeah. Yeah. Now I bad. think like I think like the Cubs thing like 108 years is a, a wild ass time to like have this all kind of wild random shit happen to you. But Same so thing, their like, thing the was Sox. from winning a World Series. Like that's that's a high ass bar. Yeah, that's but literally not, the top. Did they go back to one after that? They've been in they've been in one since then. Oh, okay. Yeah, they still don't win. And then what was wasn't the Red Sox similar? Like they weren't even going to the playoffs or something like that. No, theirs is a World Series too, I believe. Okay. Which is like it's a, that is that's a wild bar. bar. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, the highest. Dog, 100 years is a long fucking time. Tonight yeah, even you know? stumble into one. 
stumble into a championship. <laughs> yeah. A hundred years? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What is it? The Mariners God. have been like, what, 21 years without making it to the playoffs? America, yeah. uh, the, America has stumbled out of racism in less time than that. They definitely should have stumbled mm-hmm. into a World Series. You can't stumble into a goddamn championship, dude. <laughs> I think you can. That it takes did. too much going right and other shit going wrong for other people. Over 108 years? <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, not even once? Nothing. So if, and then it you, happened because after they won that championship, they've been stinking it up. If you're talking about like these old ass teams, which are like um, these long running establishments, they're probably just held within families, which means management doesn't change often. If shit is bad, shit stays bad. Like, so. sure. But if it's probable, yeah, I, it's not going to change. Like, you know. I guess then you can't really say curses because obviously curses need something to like kick them into going. But like, I don't, like I've seen I've seen the Vikings uh, miss a whole lot of kicks to put them into good places for me to be like, man, that. Just bad luck. Like y'all were fifteen and one and missed a field goal to, to send you to the Super Bowl. That's just the, the worst. I think bad luck exists, but maybe not a the, curse. But the Bills lost four straight Super Bowls. I would think that's a curse. That's, that's some fuck. But like, yeah, if it's a curse, like what started the curse, right? If <laughs> yeah. that's if we're saying like in the genuine nah, sense of man. a curse, that's no. got it. Something somebody did something in that organization. <laughs> but you can just look on paper, like the best players on those Bill teams aren't holding the fucking candle to those players on those Cowboy teams. Yeah, but you went four. They times had some in a good row. ones, though. Dog, they like had... some good ones, ones but they weren't the, the triplets. Set. They weren't the triplets, I mean, and they didn't have Larry Allen or Deion. It's kind of close. Like... Bruce Smith, uh, what Kelly and uh, and Thurman Thomas. That's a pretty good three. That's a big, good big. That three. ain't there. That but is like, not there. Dog, uh, but like like you just said, you can't stumble into a championship. Getting out of the AFC, regardless of how good or bad it is, four times in a row. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you can't just accidentally do that. And they didn't lose the Cowboys all four times, did they? They lost them three no. times. No, but they lost the Steelers and the Cowboys. I think. Yeah, the, no, that's, not the Steelers. The Cowboys the Steelers. and the Cowboys and Washington. I want to say. Yeah, okay. Washington beat them in the first one. I think. Didn't the Giants beat them too once? I feel like they lost the MC, all NFC East teams. I thought the Giants was two thousand. The Giants was another one before that. Yeah, they won one with uh, Lawrence Taylor when they won. I think that's the year when he won a. Uh, and in two thousand. Hell no, Lawrence Taylor. What year did Lawrence Taylor? I don't know, but I don't think that was it. Man, shout out the crack. <laughs> okay, but like I'm saying, uh, what was we just saying? No, but no, but I, let me keep going real quick. But like, yeah, go ahead. So like, I don't think the Chargers are cursed, but I've seen this team lose like how many times have I seen like one of our best players first training camp of the year tears an ACL, seasons derailed. How many times have they like so? How have we like <laughs> went three seasons in a row losing like? more than 50% of our games by missing a field goal or like a interception on the last drive of the game. Like, again, I don't think it's a curse because nothing like happened there, but you'll then see like something switches and it doesn't seem to really affect them anymore. But over I... like years and years, different coaching staff, different management groups, you keep running into the same problems regardless of everything else. I think okay. there's some, some fucked up luck there. Okay. I, I, I think it's, it might be an organizational issue. But I see what you're saying. Like, this is a bit much to just yeah. write off. Like, there's no organizational issue that would explain, like, Josh Lambo and Young Hui Ku being the worst fucking kickers I've ever seen and then going to different teams and being some of the best kickers in the league. There is, though, because, I mean, the, the Spaniels or, uh, ownership still has not changed. And, like, they set the tempo for everything else. A bad kicker? Like a kicker missing well, kicks? No, they, they can prioritize certain parts of the teams, right? Until, like, they sure. bring in a GM – and we're prioritizing these positions. And if we never, ever prioritize special teams, then our kickers are still always going to be asked, no matter who we have in here. But you guys were in like the them. 90s, too, though. And we lost by, like, 40 points. Did they get blown out that Super Bowl? Yeah, they lost to the 49ers. They like, 41 to, like, 8 or some shit like that. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the 49ers, though. So. Yeah. Jerry Rice and Deion Sanders. Yeah, well, it yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. T.O.'s. But no, like, yeah, seeing seeing the same teams have, like, similar fate, like, again, with the Vikings, like, they've just missed important ass kicks at wild different times, different, like, everything being different. Um, again, could just be bad luck. Or, uh, I don't know, some bad juju in the air. Okay. Um, so, the reason I, I asked that was because the Lions, they lost on that 66-yard field goal. There um after a missed delay of game and they're a franchise that has a history of like losing late like that um, with like penalties being missed in their, 
in their at their detriment. Um, yeah. But y'all kind of like some. So I mean, let's let's say that penalties are out of like the team's control. Um, that sort of leans towards curse. Not saying I believe in it now, but yeah. Because I feel like we, I feel like we've seen teams where like we've all kind of said with the Seahawks over years, where like how does it always seem like they get the call to go their way when it matters? Like the last call of the, the game, it always seems to go your way. And I'm sure I don't if even, we look at yeah. if we look at the evidence, we're probably wrong, and it could just feel that way. But they mm-hmm. just always seem to be on the right side of like, yeah, shit just needing to go their way. And teams like the Lions or shit, the Saints, you guys always seem to like just be on the wrong side of some shit not working out for some reason. Uh, when we blow it, we blow it spectacularly. We make moments, <laughs> bro. I've been telling you to watch that fucking that Falcons secret bases shit. I'm, I, I'm like, on I'm through episode three, I think. Dog, they, they get That's into some funny. shit in like the last because it's seven episodes and the last four episodes. There's some shit like. How the fuck did you guys make this happen? Like, it makes that that twenty five three Super Bowl blown lead like nah, it makes perfect sense. How, no, but I'm saying it makes <laughs> sense like how you led up to this point oh. because every other point in your in y'all's like ever you could they could have the best team in the league and it didn't matter. Something was gonna go wrong. That's ass. They went to a Super Bowl <laughs> and they fucking <laughs> they're trying to get off the plane and the coach was like. Uh yeah, it doesn't matter if you made like a, a all pro team this year. It doesn't matter if you're the best player on the team. If you've been on the team for more than ten years, you get to get off the uh, get off the team playing first. And uh, like the young dudes, like there's dudes who like one dude played for nine years, made the all pro team, best player on the team. He gets pissed because he's like, "Yo, what the fuck? Like, I'm the best player on this team. Like, why would you do some weird <laughs> shit like this to try to prove a point?" And they said, "I don't remember the dude's name." He gets up, makes this like grand, like, "Yeah, this is the coach showing like." That the veterans really matter. We need veteran leadership on this team, and make sure y'all not going out tonight. Y'all young boys not doing nothing stupid. And they got not going out in the office. town. Listen, bro, y'all Boy, not going out in the town. Thing. Not uh, like not causing distractions, not getting in no trouble. Later that night, that nigga was arrested for trying to solicit a minor who ended up being a police officer. Like that's just some bad luck shit that don't make no kind of sense. To catch what? a falcon. <laughs> <laughs> to catch a falcon like the nigga get up and make this big ass scene piss the whole team off and then just ruin the vibe by trying to fuck a minor Yuck. it's just shit like shit like that don't happen to every team that the was falcon MGK legit. timing that is a very crazy example yeah uh-huh. I'm just saying like shit like that That's like nuts. you don't hear like shit like that happen to the Steelers that keep no but like this is, the Rooney family's had them for how Black long coaches. Again at a time, yeah. But that they've been known to be like one of the pinnacles of how to run a football team. Like, so I I feel like that shit does go from the top down. Like, if if the top is bad, then the bottom is fucked. Like, that's I I think that's true. Maybe that's where the uh, the bad mojo Jojo come from. But it just be shit on and off the field that like, how does this keep happening to y'all? Robert Kraft was out there uh, before AFC Championship game. Purchasing immigrants didn't affect the team. They still were. No, nah, no. Nah, look, but look, look he at my man. He was trying to get his Deshaun Watson on. He, he, did, nah, he, he was, he was paying it for it, though. He he had a he had consent and all the agreement and shit like that. And okay. he went out consent of town for, for it. So he wasn't even in the mindset to be doing football shit at the time. He's like, look, oh, I'm, okay. I'm going right. down to Florida. I'm getting a tug and rub, and I'm coming back. And okay. yeah, someone, someone decided to blow it. I don't know who did that. Like, consenting adults, like, getting hand jobs shouldn't be really an issue, but whatever. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> hey, fuck the Raiders. That's what I think of curses. All right. Um, did I have something else to say on that? Um, no. No, I don't think I. No. Mm. Oh, um, yeah. Even, even. Uh, you. Uh, did you listen to Bomani's part of the day, uh, Tyro? Mm-hmm. When they were talking about the Cowboys, like how like they're like the money printer for ESPN and shit like that. Um, if anything happens there, then like they just they um can talk about it for three days and shit like that. Like that yep. starts at the top of the Cowboys. Like whatever you have to say about Jerry Jones, like he might be the best owner of a franchise of sports in in the world. Like no one keeps their team relevant through bad and good like like he does. Like, but they even talked about how that happened. Like I guess it was partially Jerry, but like they just had success. Like. When everybody, everybody that runs ESPN and everybody who passed the shit down, they had all that success 
in order to pass it down, which is why their fan base is so big. It don't matter what the Cowboys are doing because half the fucking country does, likes the Cowboys. It does. So you got to no, think when he bought when he bought the team. They, I think he said they bought him for like was it fifty million dollars? No, he he yeah. bought him for hella cheap. He bought him for so. Cheap. They were they were middle of the road. They had some success or whatever like that. But either way, like he branded yeah, them to four a point. Years removed from a Super Bowl. Okay, and they got yeah, them so... to a point where they started winning again. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He got to where they became a dynasty. But like, hey. and and with that, the branding goes along with it. It's not just the winning because four AFC titles should have the Bills higher than they are, but they're not. You know what I'm sure. saying? I yeah. I do completely agree. Like their ownership probably could have capitalized on that. A little like, bit better. Like that, that's the, a that's a dominant team. That's a dynasty. The Cowboys have been printing money off of branding. It's that star, shit. bro. Just but where does that I, where does that I branding start? I couldn't walk when they were doing that. They just had, like kept the ball rolling. Like Hank Hill is the only person I know who likes the Cowboys free Jerry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> but they they had history before that too, because you know you got to think about like how big like Rogers. It's Roger Staubach. I know. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was, it was like. He's like God out there. And and yeah. uh Landry, what's his name? Tom Landry? Uh yeah, yeah Tom, Tom Landry. Landry. That's that's who they were talking about. Who bought money was saying, like, yeah, they had Tom Landry, they had him in the sixties and seventies, or yeah, sixties and seventies. That's where they got that success. They had a couple down years. Jerry bought the team and then they took off again. But like obviously that that early they, success, that's the same thing with the Steelers. Like they did all that winning in the seventies and then brought that shit mm-hmm. to every Simone you've ever met loves the Steelers still. Even though they and, haven't been like super the, good like that since Mr. Head and Shoulders, I think, for that. But <laughs> always either way, it's like the Steelers with all the success, their Super Bowl titles are like right there with the Cowboys. Um, Patriots have more than the Cowboys, but the Cowboys are still the biggest brand. So how does that happen? Like that takes Texas somebody to stop doing bro. shit right. Huh? Yeah. It's t- Texas, man. T- everything's bigger in Texas. So you think they're only that good because they're in Texas? Like they're only that big because they're in Texas. No, I think like, I think I think it's Texas and Jerry. Texas and Jerry. So I mean, New York has way more people than Texas. Like, how does how is New they York? Don't, they don't care about football nearly as much as Texas. I don't think that yeah, that's yeah. the only reason they're that big. How are none of the California much. teams ever got to the point with where the Cowboys are? Oakland Raiders have no. I don't think the Oakland Raiders obviously aren't as rich, but as far as like a branding standpoint, I feel like there's probably another Raiders. They, they, they were playing in a stadium with poop flowing in the stands. Like they they stopped. <laughs> hey, their, their owner was worried about drafting all the fast niggas instead of all the good. Did niggas. you? Yeah. Did you see his son's haircut? Like he was. He said he was like a frequent Chili's uh like stopper Bro, in her. He ch- he chooses that haircut, dog. He's like sixty. Years yeah, he's old. disgusting. Yeah. He still chooses to get that haircut. That's he looks like a. Uh, like yeah, how dare you bring it from? Charlie and the nah, Chata fact. It's funny. They mentioned that on Bomani's podcast, too, uh, when they were talking about, like, Jerry having all that success. Like, how the fuck did the Rams decide to go to St. Louis? Like, you left Los Angeles as the biggest team in California. And we're like, yeah, we're, we'll go to the Midwest. Fuck it. <laughs> I like that arch. Let's, let's <laughs> Pretty tight. Let's see if we can get a stadium in there. And then came back yeah. to the nicest stadium I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yeah, that shit looks insane. Um, And even, I yeah, know, man, cool. like, um, what the fuck was I about to say? Damn, I lost it. Ah, shit. All right. Those. Yeah, I don't think the Raiders are ever as big as the Cowboys, but I think the Raiders might be like. Do you think they might be the second most popular? I know. I know the Cowboys no. definitely get it off of Steelers. Off of dollar. Steelers. Steelers are up there. I think Raiders um, gotta be top five. Uh, they might be. Steelers are up there. I, think, I know the Dolphins are up there. Um. And I feel like the Dolphins. Are, I feel like the Raiders are more popular than the Dolphins, bro. I feel like hella people fuck with the Raiders. That you black and that pl- silver, bro. Well, so this is kind of biased though. But like when I went to the NFL game in London, it was against the Dolphins. But like just walking, I, yeah, I can't even bring that up because like walking around town, <laughs> I saw a lot of Dolphins. But like every single team was represented there, so people like because you get like four chances to go to the NFL game a year inside London. So yeah. people just wear whatever team they're a fan of to the game. Like obviously there's a lot of jack shit because y'all were out there a bunch. Um, but I didn't see too much smoked. Raider stuff. <laughs> nah, we hey, nah, nah, we we fucked the uh, Ravens you, up out there that one year. Do you, you you think you guys are above 500 in NFL London? Hell no, no. I think uh, we might be like one in four, one in five or some shit. I feel like the know, Jags and the Bills are always out there. We whooped the Ravens ass out there. Joe Flacco had 27 passing yards and a half. I'm trying to figure out how the Knicks are popular like that because they've never done all the winning that the Cowboys did. I don't know either. And th- I, I mean, I really don't know. New York just had that that mystique, but they was always saying New York's the mecca of basketball. I, th- I think it's just proximity. And it's a good jersey, all time yeah. jersey. 
they got like a ton of people in a small like uh like as far as geographic area so yeah that's the ticket and it's 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 sold out every single night regardless yeah that makes sense it's one of them things like lakers too i mean the bus family long running family of ownership bad years y'all still selling out clippers games can't get the same yeah. tool like huge markets yeah okay um still on the top of the cowboys though you see um well, Collins lied. Or, no, he tried to bribe the league yeah. drug tester. With what? Yeah. Money. Cash. Oh. Moolah. Hey, cash app. Venmo. I was just wondering. And, no. and how much would that bribe have to be if you need to get away with it? Probably not a lot, honestly. How much would it take you? How much do I make in a year? 50K? They make more than that. Because you, you, so? you got to think. Yeah, so, my... On, on something like this where the league needs to, let's say if the league actually cares about people being clean, which I don't know if they do or don't, let's say that they do, right? Then you need to pay people enough where they're not susceptible to a bribe. Like where a bribe isn't worth risking their entire livelihood. That's why like NFL, like NFL refs, just referees in general, they get paid a lot of money. So they're not susceptible to bribes. Uh, okay. If you pay me, if you could pay me one time what I make the whole year and I can get away with this shit, I'm doing it. I'm but, trying to okay. think how much more it could. Because I'm guessing these people have degrees and they can go find another job. But just maybe think, think a, let's, let's say have that have have position. Degrees? People that work they, at just like clinics that take like drug test specimens don't be having like degrees because you send this shit to a lab somewhere. I'm well, some, some, some of them do. I mean, too. I actually just had to go one of those uh, this past week. Yeah, I'm, I'm just guessing like they do. There's, other, there's like, some doctors in there. Like there is some doctors. You give me 125 bands right now. Yep. All right. Bet here. But uh, so let, let's let's say like that that they offer you that and that's what you make in a year and that's a profession you went to like you've been training or went to school for that for like eight years or something like that. Yes. You can possibly never do that shit again just for one year's worth of your salary. Like that's not worth it. I don't know. Uh, you gotta I'm think of like the honestly. average person probably isn't thinking like. I'm but gonna even, get caught from doing it. I control all of this. You're shit going in to this get place. Caught. Why? How's okay, it guaranteed so if, if you get caught? If the league doesn't catch you, one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars shows up. How how one one? How is he getting it to you? How are you getting that money? You got to figure it out. You got to talk to him. You ask him. No, me. no, no. How are you getting that money? Y'all answer it. Uh, I couldn't tell you. He's giving me you got cash. bags of money. Yeah, cash. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Don't know. How did how does the nigga give you one hundred twenty-five k? Yeah. Because yeah, you one, the one that's you the one getting nil deals, nigga. A trail is going to start somewhere. When he generates one hundred twenty-five thousand, that means he had to pull it out of a bank, right? Anything over ten thousand dollars shows up to the IRS. They, the Fed, see that. All right. So you take give that me money. Seventy in. payments of nine ninety-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> he's not doing that shit because he's just he's a weed head that's trying to get by by giving you money. <laughs> I right, fuck it. I'm what, doing it. What wasn't his story that like he he did actually have like on like four of the seven days he missed he tried to say he had like. Tragedies happen in his life or something like that, so that's why he I don't know. Come. I don't know that uh, happened. Yeah, that happened. I don't know. Yeah, he was trying to say like uh, people died or something crazy, super crazy happened on those days. So he tried to bribe them for the three days that he like illegitimately, mi- illegitimately missed or something like that. So it could be. Man, he had LSU guy. Sound... I don't have to defend nobody. Yeah, he he did guy. he did um, beat a body coming out of LSU. But um, oh, <laughs> I thought he just like right. knew the person or something like it that. It was his ex girlfriend was murdered. He yeah, that's crazy. It, Talk about yeah. uh, get back. Legally. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm saying, the person has to get the hundred five thousand dollars, which means they have to pull it out of a bank, which means that generates a paper trail. They have to get it to you. You, just the person who just does drug testing, is not some expert money launder. Have to take that in and start spending it. Um, if you're getting that in cash. You have to then incorporate that into your other shit. And, like, I don't know. That just seems like you're setting yourself up to be caught because you're not smarter than the IRS. Like, you're definitely not smarter than the IRS. Mm-hmm. And now there's Lil Collins. Like, that cash should be sitting in my house. I'll figure something out. The fuck you would. And we're also All assuming right. it's that much. I think about like, a, I don't well, think I'm just using his example. I'm using his yeah, example. Yeah, I don't think they would have offered near a real because niggas is rich, but they ain't that rich. He was probably like, hey, I'll give you 10 grand or 20 grand to like. And if it's yeah, that 10, much, it's not grand? worth it. If you make $125,000. Yeah, I'm willing to risk it. Fuck it. I did it. You're, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. It might not be worth right it. there. Blake, it might not be worth it to you, but w- people will do stupid shit for stupid reasons for not a lot of like reward. I'm just. I'm. I'm not saying. I'm saying like, based you might on be talking percentages. About who has student loans? Who's like, 
well, shit, 10 grand. I could pay like a year's worth of student loans. Y'all, y'all know how I get down. We've had this conversation in the group. And you also just said, people. like, I don't really give a fuck about the money like that. People make no, dumbass no, decisions no. every day. No. It's been the opposite. We have been been like the type of shit, like, Talk how much money would it take for you to, like, lick the gum wall in Seattle? Y'all, like, one of y'all would be like, oh, I'm going to need, like, at least 100 mil for that. One would be like, oh, give me, like, I need, like, $100,000 for that shit. I'd be like, bro, like, I have $28,000 left of student loans. If you say you'll pay that off, I will lick that wall. I, okay. that, I'm the one that says the shit in the chat. Yeah, Okay, no, so, I so somebody came into your job and was like, hey, look the other way real quick, and I'll pay off your student loans. You're going to be like, ah, I don't know. I can't. Well... Well, your job, you literally yeah, cannot. I will go to this, prison. <laughs> this other job is probably not going to have that strict of, like, like policies around it, I'm sure. Because, like you said, I don't really think the NFL does care that much about making sure. Uh, I can't play with my job, come. though, because, like, if I if I get that type of strike on my resume, even if I'm the NFL drug tester or myself, I can never go back to my livelihood, and, and I don't have that's any other also skills. not necessarily true, because doctors fuck up every day. That Dr. Death nigga that was cutting nah, people's heads off kept nah, getting jobs. Nah, it's different. He's a he's an outlier. I'm saying... <laughs> do, shit, shit happens in medical practice where, like, that's why you have insurance. Someone purposely fucking up like him is an outlier. Yeah, maybe. You doing this type of shit to, like, look the other way just, and... Just to come up. Yeah, fuck up your work in order to get some instant paper is is know, like man, you can never do what drugs. you do. I don't know, man. Yeah, I just think something right. about cops like flooding the block with fentanyl. They got oh, yeah, caught Columbus. and they're going to jail for a minute. Yeah, yeah they're going they're to not jail sm- for They're not smarter than their boss. <laughs> no, they are going to jail for a minute. They like, shorted what you, somebody. What do you think the like if so? Obviously, we don't know the whole process, but if the person who took the bribe. I don't like did I, I don't know if we don't know if he was bribing them to like hey go say that I took these tests and make some shit up yeah. or are, is he just saying like kissing this cup for me yeah like I, I it's hard to say without knowing what he's saying because if he's just saying like hey the the next seven people that come in take their piss and say it's mine like split it <laughs> yeah like I don't know like so it could be some shit where like yeah you absolutely won't get caught or it could he be said, like <laughs> he said bust the piss down. <laughs> It just cracked that vial open. Tell them to leave the lid open when they leave the bathroom. <laughs> Crack and seal. So it's hard. Or is he just saying like, hey, pencil whip some shit and say that I showed up on these days? Because that's obviously a lot easier to prove than getting some fake piss. But like we, uh, because we know people who cheat on direct tests by fucking doing all kind of stupid shit. Like it I had to explain hard. it to Bree this week that like, because I, like I said, I had to go do a piss test this week for my new job. Um, they're like, no, like, yeah, people do this shit all the time. Like, they either, like, go to the smoke shop and, like, buy, like, those cleanse things that make you yep. just pee out a bunch. They drink a bunch of cranberry juice. Or they pay somebody and just tuck the shit under their nuts inside their underwear or whatever. Yep. And then go in there and pour it into the cup. Um, she couldn't believe that like, she thought that shit was, like, the wildest stuff in the world. Somebody I, I was doing that for a bunch of the homies pissing yeah. and stuff for people. I wish somebody would ask me. Somebody that I know did that. And we had to go buy uh, some non-latex condoms. Move the piss from the jar into the condom. They taped it to their leg. Went in the bathroom, put it in the little thing, and You're still warming up on the leg. Yes, or uh, it was either a leg or closer to the closer up, but it was warm. I would taste you the work. gooch. This person doesn't have a gooch. Everybody has a gooch. Uh, the gooch on a woman's pretty tiny. I don't know if that counts as a gooch. Gooch is a gooch, man. It ain't about how much gooch you have. You <laughs> got, everybody has gooch. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, by this tracksuit. <laughs> we talking about Gucci's and you looking at velour tracksuits? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, right. 42 duck. Uh, All right. We, uh... Speaking of losing uh, drug tests. Oh, wow. Wow. Josh I'm Gordon's bike. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that can overcome addiction, man. And he has he overcome it, chances, though? though? It's crazy. No, he so hasn't what? overcome it. I don't know how he's had so many God, chances. Man. He got dirt I, on somebody. I think he has like a he has like a um, a situation set up with the front office where they're like, "All right, Josh, uh, you, you're in your program. You're gonna miss whatever time. Like it's cool. We got you. We understand." I guess I really don't understand how or why this me nigga keeps getting opportunities. It's Same. baffling to me. Like last year, he got reinstated, and literally before he made it to camp, got popped again. So I'm confused as to how he keeps getting more chances. Is he a top forty receiver? 
when, today? When, when active? When active? Yeah, is he at all? No, I can't say that. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. Like he was, he, he, he was like a freak athlete. Like when he, he was at the played, tip top. He hasn't. When's the last time he played five games or more? I did, I, just, I don't think he did two years ago for Seattle, know. did he? Yeah, like he know. he had like um he probably the only one person with like a start that was hotter than like Odell's start. Like easily, easily. I think that was the best like three game stretch in like bro. NFL history as far as that he used to fuck us up. Dog, that <laughs> niggas have like six for two forty. <laughs> like two touchdowns. He was fucking different. So, Dude, he like he had like seventeen hundred yards and missed like four games one year. Like, bro, what's this nigga doing? That's what, that like, was his was, first year, I think. Nah, he Dude. was on some bullshit. Got the gates clapping. So I'm trying to figure out like his his career is so fucked up. It's hard to even like tell when he played because it what? said in 2019 it says he played eleven games. For two different teams, he played six for New England, five for Seattle. Uh, and in 2018, it says he played one for Cleveland, 11. God so, damn. Yeah, I, guess, I guess 2019 was the last time he played that many games. So 2013 is the shit that has him still getting back into the league like this. Yeah, so 2012 was his first year in the league. 2013, he led the league in receiving, <laughs> which is incredible. He had 1,646 yards on 87 receptions. 14 games. Fourteen games, yep. And oh, so, mind you, for it, bro. he hasn't played twelve games. Is the most he's played since two thousand thirteen. He played five, and then took had was gone for two years. Played five, played twelve, played eleven. So he's played one, two, three, four. Look five. at so he's played six total oh seasons. My God. <laughs> Look at who he had throwing him the ball though. At twenty thirteen, he had Jason Campbell, Brandon Whedon, and Brian Hoyer. Boy, and they looked great. That team on Madden was some shit. Shit yeah, is They used to always have like a good line and a good defense. Yep. They're yeah, they um, be cool with some skill position. Trent, Trent Richardson was decent on Madden when he played there. Yeah. they the team combined QB rating was seventy five point seven. Jesus Christ! Uh, see what it was not throwing 7. to him. That's the stat I want to see. See you, you asking for some advanced shit that I can't just mm-hmm. do by looking at Pro Football Reference. <laughs> you can't. It's gonna take you an hour and a half. Uh, that's not just yeah. looking. I gotta get to the queer, queries, queries. But yeah, queries? so we're we're really eight years removed from when he was like nice for real. Look what one good season gets you in the NFL, though. Yeah, and it, was, yeah, it God, wasn't it was just ridiculous, good. Ridiculous, though. though. Not no, good. I guess yeah. Elite, elite he had, season. But it's like, and then when he plays, like, so in his his the year he went crazy of 2013, he he averaged 18.9 yards per se- per reception. Pretty much every other year he's played since then, he's averaging like 18 yards of reception. He just don't fucking play. He, when he played for Seattle, he, he played five games and averaged 19 yards of reception. He only had seven of them, but they were 20 yards each. Yeah, he, he's effective when he's on the field. He's just, yeah. can you get him on the field? Can you get him on the field? Yeah. Shit, Alden Smith hey, made a little comeback, and he was nice. Do whatever he yeah. wanted. If you got, got, he, did, he did a year back with the Cowboys, that was it, and he couldn't stay on the roster for the Seahawks. And then he got picked up by the Seahawks and got arrested before camp. Well, oh, that'll hurt. Camp. Yeah. Uh, okay. really can't stay out their own way. Speaking of uh, legal issues in the offseason, uh, Richard Chairman went to Tampa Bay. Shout out to the, him, man. The, the rich get richer. Shout out to him. I don't know if... Oof. We'll see what he looks like. He, he didn't look all that when he was playing for uh, the 49ers, but he looked the, good enough. The load's going to be a lot less now. <laughs> very true. That I'm linebacker as fast as fuck. You just put them in when you run in the zone, which I guess they do a lot of. And, uh, That's very true. Be fine. Can I uh, can I bring something up about the games last week, or do you got some more off-the-field stuff we need to talk about first? Oh, uh, no. Go ahead. The next issue will be your boy, Matt Nagy. Uh, first off, I'd like to say fuck the Chiefs and anybody who love them. Pat Mahomes fucking sucks. A uh, bitch ass nigga tried to throw a no look pass and got picked off by uh, the son of a goat. I can't believe that this bitch ass nigga thought he could throw a no look pass to a backup tight end and get away with that shit. And we made that nigga pay. Fuck Kansas City. Talk fuck to. Missouri. Talk fuck to. Hunt's ketchup. Talk uh, to. Fuck niggas that talk like this. Uh, talk to. <laughs> fuck niggas with curly hair. Fuck talk white to. boys with fades. Yep. Fuck white boys with beards. Yep. Uh, fuck uh, anybody that like the number 15 Kelsey. Not yeah. anymore Fuck you nigga <laughs> uh, yeah. Man you don't the, Chargers went in, the, the Chargers went in there and beat that ass I don't care if it was a 6 point win We went in there and beat that ass 
They yep. saw Tyreek Hill with the ball. They said, give me that. They said, yep. Clyde Edwards Hilaire with the ball. They said, give me that. That yep. nigga Pat Mahomes kept throwing picks. Damn, them niggas stink. We about to win yep. this division. Uh, that's all I got to say. Dropping the mic. <laughs> nah, you said that shit. Hate, hate them niggas, bro. I can't. Don't hey, I think I predicted the last week that we was going in, going in there and win by four. What's good? Come you on. also said 13 wins for the Chargers, and right now you're looking up. Hey, let's get it. Let's go. God damn. We, we got to play the bottom dwelling uh, Chiefs one more time this season. Uh, one <laughs> this was actually one of my topics, and you just knocked that shit out the park. So Yeah, man. Fuck them, nigga. I couldn't wait. I was hoping you was going to bring it up, but I couldn't wait. I can't believe. I can't believe. When you approach me with an average quarterback like that, I felt disrespected. Okay? He ain't no Justin Herbert, bro. He's not Justin <laughs> Herbert. They, they said Honey Badger was an LSU boy, and he didn't look like it. He looked like a bitch. Put put oh in Chase my. Daniels, huh? Oh my god! Or god. Chad Henney, whoever they got over there, they got Chad Henney. Put him in. They needed help. They had Pat Mahomes <laughs> out there looking sick and flabby. All right. Oh my fucking god, bro! He had two of the worst picks I've seen ever this year. He overthrew Travis Kelsey for like twelve yards, and then tried to he threw a no look pass. He threw a no look pass that would have been a dude guaranteed hands, touchdown. Though. No, I don't care if it hit dude in both hands. The nigga was a backup tight end, and he didn't see it coming because he's a backup tight end. If he throws that to Travis Kelsey, he probably catches it because he knows it's going to be a no look. He's running that in for a touchdown because he was wide open. He tried to throw it to some nigga named uh, fucking Foil or some shit. Are you dumb? Yes, you are dumb because you make dumb decisions. Dumbass nigga, bro. Donald Foil was out there? Somebody, I don't know. He had a touchdown on us later. They tried to come back, but you know, it is what it is. Justin Herbert showed fucking... God, massive balls. We went for it on four to nine. He's like, don't worry, I got this hose. I got you can't hit the drop either, bitch. I can't. <laughs> uh, Mario. He, went in, he went in there and let them nuts hang. God damn. Oh my God. Can't believe it, man. Oh, this crowd was loud. He said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> They're like, Tony Romo's on the broadcast, like, all right, so I guess the the Chargers will just take a knee here and play to kick a field goal. No, nigga, we came to win. All right, we scoring touchdowns. <laughs> the fuck? Are y'all paying uh, Mike Williams to stay, or is he hitting free agency and leaving? Probably gonna have to because this motherfucker looks like the best receiver. Talk, talk about smoke this week. Y'all got smoke this week. Talk about a contract, a contract here. Year. Talk about dog. Mike Williams is playing like a contract year. That shit is incredible. He looks great. Uh, we've been saying he's nice. He just he just falls down a lot and it's scary. Yeah. Somebody on the Chargers podcast said it looks like he's doing the milk crate challenge every time he comes down with a pass. That nigga will fall straight down on his back and be hurt. Jesus Christ. We do got smoke this week. We got the Raiders. Uh, Undefeated Raiders. Be, uh, yeah, I guess. They keep taking everybody overtime. Justin Herbert don't play for overtime, so that ain't happening this week. We beat them in regulation. <laughs> Justin Thomas. Herbert's an overtime Ice for host. Jesus. Yes, All right. Josh Jacobs ain't playing. Well, shit don't matter because Peyton Barber looked like goddamn... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean Alexander last week. Peyton Barber was fucking eating. Who they play last week? Who they play last week? Nah, uh, I they really play the, Dolph- the they play the Dolphins, nigga. We ain't no Dolphins, nigga. We got a real defense. We got a real offense. Okay, Justin Herbert ain't Kobe percent. The most yards per carry in the league right now because they're talking about like because we play the Cowboys. The Cowboys got a good ass run, uh, fucking rushing offense. No, I'm just saying. Who else have y'all? Yeah. We play. Did Clyde uh, have a good game too? He just fumbled. He did, including yeah, his fumbles. That'll do it. That'll do <laughs> it. That, yeah, you can you can run for what you want. Give us that pill, though, bitch. <laughs> Jamal, yeah, you want to talk did. briefly about the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars having nineteen straight losses? Yeah, it's, it's nasty hours out here. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? Uh, Jamal knew I had money on that game. And I was at work, and I felt my phone vibrating in my pocket. I know he was calling to talk shit when they were up 14-0, and I couldn't answer it. I know he was calling to talk shit. Like, I was <laughs> screaming in my truck at work. I was watching it on my phone. <laughs> what you, you, would you do when the first three possessions of the uh, second half were touchdowns against y'all? Were you still screaming? <laughs> Disgust. Oh, we should have went into the half up 21-0, but... Yeah. You went for it and didn't get it. Oh uh, man, long as Trevor stays healthy and he's showing some some improvements, all I can ask for. He for sure looked good last night, though. He he had some plays last night. Shout out to James Robinson for my fantasy. I had, 
I've been yeah, they gave him school last night for sure. I seen that. Yeah, like I know the last he's had two good straight games. And man, it makes sense when you give your good running back the ball. Tim Tim's the Carlos Hyde the fuck out of here. Please, uh, it ain't two thousand and fucking twelve or twenty thirteen. No, why is Carlos Hyde still playing? He's on my dynasty team. I know uh, yeah. Shakur was screaming like Fable when CJ Uzama ran in his second touchdown mm-hmm. from thirty oh, yards. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Dude, like, no, because they had fucking Josh Allen and pass coverage. Like, you know, if you don't get that motherfucker to rush the uh, quarterback. Uh, Dude, he got when I'm, um don't want Trevor Lawrence roll to the right and slow down before that it bounced through that deep ball to LaVisca. I almost crashed the truck. <laughs> nah, Trevor Trevor has looked good for the most part. In, like in all the games, he ain't throwing for shit. But his when he when he, when the plays are going right, he looks good. He just is trying to the do talent something. is there. We just got to put some yeah. better talent around him. And- yeah. It's so it's so hard to get a look at somebody playing on a roster that bad. Like no offense, yeah, but like yeah, but it's, it's hard to get a look. Oh, no offense, yeah, I ain't seen a quarterback yeah. throw like this in a minute. Yeah, uh, I think that's Blake why niggas gotta that. have man, man. How your team go undefeated and win the Super Bowl? Let's get it. Blake Blake posted that since the nigga. I posted. The, oh, you posted my Madden franchise, mm-hmm. bro. We went oh. seventeen and zero. I threw for like almost five thousand forty four touchdowns, eleven TDs. I, that. I still didn't win MVP with Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Tom Brady got they know, you, they know you playing on arcade. Dog, Lamar Jackson threw for 42, eight picks, and he rushed for like 900 yards. Yeah, that was good. That. that was good. You talking about the, uh, the Mariners thing? No, I'm talking about the the since the Jags tweeted not satisfied after being oh, yeah, last yeah. year, they lost 19 straight games. That's yep. incredible. That's incredible. No, yeah, yeah it's a test, but. <laughs> Dog, I couldn't imagine. Like my team has been some shit. I okay, could not imagine bitch. having. I couldn't have imagine okay, having nineteen bitch. straight weeks without being able to like uh, be get happy a dub. You ain't seen a victory Monday in that long. Oh. <laughs> you never saw a victory Monday since the pandemic started. <laughs> Jesus I was, Christ! Man, I was gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! It just almost got ugly in here. <laughs> you have to piss me off. Dog, the highlight of this nigga's life was draft night, and he hasn't been happy since. <laughs> what was the highlight of my life? The 2017 season? Nah, oh, I remember the 2017 season ended up, uh, you were crying face down on the floor of my apartment. Yeah, the house, disgusted. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I had, like, a goddamn bomb stretch in my chest. I just wanted to die. I was thinking, like, that Logic song. What, what was Logic singing? I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be alive. There we go. That, yeah, that's that's, that's song. Song. What, what, what's the number? What's the number of that that song? One eight seven seven suicide. One eight hundred never playing his music. Oh. <laughs> Yo, man, <laughs> oh, fuck that song. You're you're contemplating ending it all, and that fucking song comes on. You think that would like push him over the edge if that song just like played? The, yeah, his idea was dope. Like, okay, I'm gonna make this song about suicide, the number for like suicide prevention, in case you're thinking about it. People were like, I wasn't thinking about it before now, but god damn. <sighs> Fuck. <clears throat> hey, if you're contemplating uh, suicide, get help, man. We stand with everybody uh with the uh, yeah, with them issues. See how genuine he said that? Not real shit. Suicide's not cool. But Wait, that game had me sick, bro. I want. Oh my god! I just want to take me and Tyrell out that day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't want to kill you when we lost that uh that UNC the uh, oh yeah the oh, leadership. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when UNC lost, that nigga uh, made that shot. And you were like cheering. No, nah, nah, like, oh cause, my god! Because you, I just had were to talking. Leave. Dog, UNT came down. They no, had a game winner. Came back. Ja- yeah. Jacor was talking cash shit. They hit the game winner. And oh, I was like, yo, chill, yo, down. chill. And Villanova came down on the other end and hit the actual game winner. Dog, I, I shit you not, the smoothest motion I ever seen. I just he left. Went, yeah. I just he went from cheering. Left. He picked his keys up, slid into his slides, and just walked all the way out. Didn't yeah, say a I word. Just just walked I went straight home. <laughs> I was. Oh man! And then when the Jags lost in 2017, like six months later, this nigga just—he watched the whole second half like through the hit fingers, like he was watching a bad horror movie. As soon as that game was over, nigga was just like, "All right, <laughs> I'm ahead out." I do think the only time you've ever had me like super pissed is when you was like talking hella shit when uh when Florida State was losing to Auburn that first half. 
<laughs> and he was on Twitter, just tweeting me all kind of crazy shit. Cause you wouldn't text like, him oh, back. Well, they they can't beat no US the the uh what is it? They got them SEC teams and we beat up on each other, but I was like, bro, this nigga this nigga wants Auburn to win a national title, bro. What's wrong with this nigga? Like, <laughs> like bro, LSU, like they, that's a rival. I was so mad. That was like, yeah, oh I, man. I just hated you that much. It's all good. I was like, bro. I really and then we came the back and won. I fucking My mom had to come down there and check on me. I was screaming so goddamn loud. Shout out all to right, Kobe anyway, Mitchell, you know, uh, uh, this week right. we got to see the Lions. No, fuck out of here. Shut up. Oh, what? What? The Saints we're on the Matt Nagy time. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. That works for me. So the Bears have an issue at QB, right? Like last week they played Justin Fields. It was the first start. Um, he didn't do great. The line did terrible. The offensive play calling was terrible. He looked just like he wasn't ready to be out there. And it's like, what the hell do you do? Like you um – they're 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 at risk of like messing up like a a young talented quarterback's like confidence um going forward. But at the same it's time, it's risk. like yeah, not at risk. I mean, what's what's past that risk? You're doing it. <laughs> yeah, doing it. Okay, so they're doing he got, it. He got um, mutilated last week. You have a a coach who knows he's on the hot seat, which means he kind of. I mean, one he's on the hot seat. One he drafted the first round quarterback too, so it's like you can't necessarily back off of that. Like, I feel like this is a disaster, and it's like it's gonna, it's gonna ruin Justin Fields, and also Matt Nagy's gonna get fired at the same time. I feel like they have a good game, and then Matt Nagy kind of, I, I, I think they kind of show up this week. You think they show? Up this I know week? Detroit's been in close games, but I think, I think Matt Nagy calls Andy Reid and begs him, like, bro, what should I do? Nah, he, he gives him the care package. He's gonna call Andy Reid. Did you just see what happened to Andy Reid's fat ass on TV, bro? What do you mean he's gonna call Andy Reid? Oh, he just got this. spanked. Come on, he man. just got spanked. Put that nigga in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, I, I, I think firing Nagy's got to be the right move at this point. Because I don't. I, do? I think every <laughs> that part I don't know. Okay. I don't know if you. I don't know if you give him the rest of the season, but I feel like, cause well, I feel like Nagy and Ryan Pace got to go like their GM. I feel like they both got to go, uh, and just, just start the whole shit over. Cause at this point, like we can all probably admit that Mitchell Trubisky wasn't the right pick, but like he's had now two, like, well, obviously he's not there, but he's had two top 10 quarterbacks and, and has, I, but they've went to the playoffs also. <sighs> Yeah, I, like partially on the back of their defense, which is not what he does. So I don't know if he gets credit for that. But like, they've probably done better than we would expect. Like, if you told me that offense like was Mitch Trubisky and as bad as we think he is, uh, with very few other good pieces there, like th- I wouldn't say that they're a playoff team, and they've been to the playoffs I think twice in the last four years. Um, but like. <laughs> That showing last week seems like some shit. That, like, if that was a college football coach, you're probably fired mm-hmm. after that game. Like, if you put your true freshman in and he gets sacked nine times and you don't do, like, you have one net passing yard and you don't look competent in any way, like, you don't try to do anything. It, it depends on the game, though. If you're Mercer going sure. in Alabama and that, that's what happens, and it's like, oh, you got the bag. Come, come on, man. kind of did. Like, I guess <laughs> the Browns would be, like, <laughs> that version of that, like, in this scenario. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, Nagy from like Shakur was saying before we started, like Bears fans haven't seen anything from Nagy that would like inspire confidence to think like he's going to do something different this week or he's going to do something Bro, different next him. season. Like <laughs> I was listening to podcasts this week and they were like, for some reason, Nagy has this like mindset that he, the previous play has nothing to do with the next play. Oh, so God. if you watch him, he's never like when he's doing play action, he's not like run, run, play action. He's just like, okay, we're going to play action first down, run second down. Bad play like, calling. Yeah, like he's just no play matters to the next play, which I feel like is probably a fireable offense. And if you think like, if you see like uh, how the, the Cardinals, they, they realize like Josh Rosen wasn't that dude. There was a better option out there. Go get the better option. So if you're like, okay, Nagy's clearly not showing he's this dude. Get off him sooner than later. And then figure the rest out later. But, like, he's obviously not the choice to be there. And he's had, I think, plenty of time to show that. Yeah. I think the one positive I heard someone say about him. Yeah, no. But the, he he saved Mr. Trubisky in the sense that, like, Mr. Trubisky was, like, god-awful under John Fox. And he had one good season under Matt Nagy. 
yep. and then things went down the toilet. Damn, um, I forgot John Fox was there. Yeah, so that, I that's kind of... John Fox had Mitch his first year. Yeah, so that's kind of like why um, he might have as much leash as he does, but uh, it's looking pretty ugly right now. And, and he's like, white. I don't know. But, no, um, no, I'm just saying, if, he, if that was uh, Raheem Morris over there, or Leslie Frazier over there. Nah, but like I feel like I, I just Brown feel like there. like if you have a quarterback like Fields who you think as a ownership team, like this dude showed some like transcendent shit in college and we can do a lot with him, why even waste another year? Because then it's like, okay, you fire Nagy next year. So that's two years of, uh, of Justin Fields. And mm-hmm. then year three, you bring a new guy in and the excuse is going to be it's his first year with the new guy. So then that guy's you're now year four before you're like, okay, Justin Fields is now popped. And now we got to re him up next year, and he's going to want the bag because he had his one good year. Get off him now. Go get fucking Kellen Moore. Go get whoever you need to go get. Somebody who's like, okay, we're going to do some creative shit with this quarterback instead of like Matt Nagy. He, Matt Nagy, if he's coaching for his job this year, he damn sure going to be coaching for his job next year. So, like, yeah. Go get nothing special out of him then. I think from whoever, I mean, like, whatever they're, I don't know if there's somebody above Ryan Paisley, if they have like a president of football operations. And then there's the GM below that. Um, but I would need to, like, sit everybody down and see, like, who's responsible for what and then go from there. Because, like, maybe Matt Nagy's, like, um, his play calling is absolutely questionable. But at the same time, like, I don't – if he's not making personnel stuff, he didn't staff that O-line. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's not on him. <clears throat> and I and, think the way that, that Matt Nagy talked about the QB situation, it didn't seem like – that was a coach saying what the coach wanted to say. It seemed like that had to be coming from up top. Because he, yeah. like Andy Dalton got hurt, and the first thing we heard was he's still the starting quarterback no matter what. Like, I can't imagine the coach is going to say something that, like, strong when you just drafted somebody in the with the 10th overall pick. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, maybe it, Dalton absolutely could be more ready to play quarterback for them than Justin Fields is. For sure. He shouldn't be yeah. if, you, if you picked him with the 10th pick. Like, the 10th yeah. pick should be who you're playing but at the same time, like just based on reality, like camp and all that stuff, like that, like Dalton could be more ready to play today. Man, he at, could um, be bald at him, Gase. I'm looking Jesus. at uh, Ryan Pace's like draft, draft like since he's been there, mm-hmm. and he's he's got a couple hits, <laughs> but boy, there's some <laughs> there's some shit in here. Like I don't think most of these guys are on this team anymore, and if they are, they're not really performing. Well, like no, he got Eddie Jackson, Kevin White. He got Eddie Jackson. Got uh, Kevin there's White. a lot. I, there's not a lot of bad like reaches for the most part, um, but there are definitely some just like these guys just aren't on your team anymore. Like he got Roquan Smith. That's a really good one. Mm-hmm. Eddie Jackson, but like Anthony Miller, that's a second round pick gone. Jordan Howard's a third round pick gone. Uh, like yeah, looking at most yeah, of these picks, mostly of these, most of these people he got are no longer on this team. David Montgomery was a third round pick in 2019. They didn't have their first two. Yeah, like his his draft, and that's like the thing. They've been in a rebuild, like a half rebuild for the last like six years, and haven't really done anything about it, or haven't really. Made- Nobody thinks like, oh yeah, the Bears are a year away from winning that division. No, I mean, and like I said, it's gotta like if I'm, I don't know if there's someone above Ryan Pace, like if there's a president for relations, I gotta see like who's making these decisions. Yeah. Um, to get these people in here, because if yeah, man, if that that's what has to change first, because like the, it's not, yeah, it's not <laughs> that roster right. is bad. What were you you were saying? They're they're capped out too, like yeah, right? like you're you're capped out and you're not paying a quarterback. That that's a that's an F. Like you can't do that. Yeah, exactly. And their drafts like they don't have young talent outside of outside of Eddie Jackson, who's not really even young necessarily anymore and David Fields, Montgomery who's not David like Montgomery. a blue chip type of person that's like yeah. top of the league type of player like that. They have no that, that uh corner's supposed to be really good they got over there. Uh Jalen Johnson, I think his name is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Roquan's nice. He's about to get paid next year. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, you got and Khalil Mack. He's, he's about to, he's about to add on to them being capped out next year. Yeah. <laughs> for their Khalil defense Mack and like, get in the bag. Just okay. They're gonna have to pay Allen Robinson too. If he wants oh, to he didn't get paid yet. No, yeah. I, I think got fr- did he get franchise tag? Yeah, I think so. I feel like yeah. he did. I'm pretty sure. He put okay. the numbers. But... Yeah, I yeah, I think that team if you're smart, I think uh this is the time to get the fuck out. 
Oh, yeah. Bring somebody I'm, else I'm in. With you. Fire Nagy. Switch, switch it up. Switch something up. Get Bring you Lovey back. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Did, did, he, did he get fired from Indiana? NFL now, right? Is yeah, he? Lovey's a defensive coordinator for someone. Did I want to say the Cardinals, NFL? but I might be wrong. Hold on. I feel like I, I saw him on TV last week. Indiana. I just can't remember. He's the defensive I'm coordinator sorry. for the Texans. Okay. Jesus God Christ. He, he's the associate head coach and the defensive coordinator. He got the greatest beard I've ever seen. That's incredible. <laughs> this shit is like Please. pure gray and is incredible. Man, I'm jealous. He used to say he looked like a... Uh... A Teddy Graham. That shit used to always be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all see uh, Jamar Chase can catch again. Ooh, ooh, yeah. that, that was just preseason. Good. Yeah, it just took him preseason to figure it out. Hey, he good. said I couldn't see the ball. That had to be a pump fake. Something it, that cool would scare the shit out of you, though. If you're a first round <laughs> pick, saying like, "Hey, man, the ball don't hey. got a stripe on it. I can't see it well." He, like, nigga, what? he said that, what and I was nervous because I've been talking cash shit about Jamar Chase. For two years now, they said 152 uh, passer rating from Burrow to to Jamar Chase this year. Yeah, no, he's like incredible. Catch the ball, you nice. Yeah, yeah, he looks damn close to unguardable. That's, that was a wild beautiful. ass quote, though. <laughs> Maybe he just needed a couple weeks. Honestly, no stripes. Yeah, he did go a whole year without playing, so that's definitely yeah. a question for sure. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> All right. Um, so I wrote down like the records of all the teams so far. Um, I'm gonna say the teams well that are 0 and three, and I got the Jacksonville on here with the asterisk. And just y'all tell me like who you think like probably be the best out of this group. Wait, why do you have an asterisk next to the Jacks? Because they're 0 and four. They only have 0 and four teams. Damn, <laughs> yeah, bitch, was it really that funny? Yes. God damn. No, why didn't you do this as like a jab? That if not technically 0 and three, they just don't the have you, one last thing. What? Right, yeah, what that nigga. Oh, never mind. He's back. Whew. Sorry. I was laughing too hard. I accidentally hung up. Yeah, yeah I did. Bitch. All right. Okay. So we got the Jets. We got the Colts. We got Jacksonville. We got the Giants in Detroit. Who y'all feel like is the best out of that group? Colts. Or who who will who will finish the best? The Colts probably. I think they're Colts. Yeah, Detroit. The, Colts. the Giants Detroit. could have been in like a bunch of their games too, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I was gonna say the Giants or the Colts. The Giants are so hard to get a read on. I feel like the Lions will pick up a couple wins. I just think they're in a. Uh, I would say tough division, but they get to play the Bears twice. Uh, <laughs> Mother yeah. just seems like a joke, though. Yeah, I would say the Giants or the Colts. The Giants have looked decent. They just, I don't know, they got some bad luck there. Yeah, a kick away. Colts would be better than this for sure, though. For sure. Carson Wentz is looking kind of funny in the light. All right. So, yeah, one and two. Angles. This is a bit longer. We got um, Miami, New England, Pittsburgh, Houston, Kansas City, Philadelphia, Washington, Minnesota, Chicago, Atlanta, Seattle. Kansas it's like the City. easy one out of there. Like yeah. Kansas City, of course. I think Seattle. If it's not Kansas City. Yeah. You said it's, Seattle. Seattle's it's defense is bad, City. man. Seattle's defense is bad, but I feel like their seasons are always like – they do bad in the first half and do good in the second, or they do bad in the second half and do good in the first. Like I, th- I, I think, think they'll finish with like five hundred. I think Washington might like pull out of this they one and do to get to. That, I just think spot. their defense isn't doing as well right now. Well, this is what got there. them there last year. Like their offense, like isn't any really worse. I don't feel like. I don't know. Yeah, they're. It's hard to. It's hard to bank on them getting much better with Taylor Heineke, who like looks decent, but I don't know how much you're gonna expect him to win, especially when it comes down to like. Motherfuckers have now watched him play for a few weeks. Who um, played last year, though? Uh, They started with Haskins and then went to Kyle Allen and then went to Heineke. So all those yeah. parts are still there besides Haskins, who's like probably the worst of that group. Yeah, Kyle Allen looked really good when he played there last year. But yeah, Heineke ended the season for them and definitely looks solid. Heineke, I think, looks decent. I just mm-hmm. don't know how good you expect him to be, especially since they decided to move on from him and Motherfucker, they moved on to just got hurt. And who was that? Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got hurt week one. Yep. And who else? You said my. I think there was another team that you just said. Miami, New yeah. England, Pittsburgh, Houston, KC, Philadelphia. Pits, I think. I think Pittsburgh can be. Roethlisberger's better. finished, bro. He's done. He, he is definitely he done. He, he looks like he'd be done. slipping. <laughs> like you wearing uh, hospital socks on your kitchen floor. That's how you be moving around. <laughs> he's definitely done. They just have. He's done it. Uh, you got a point because he's done, and their offensive line is bad. 
I just feel like they have good receivers. They have a decent tight end room. Nigga, they, and they have a good rookie running back. So, and their defense is solid. So did it's you like, see the stat about how many passes he threw under 10 yards last week? I know, but like Deontay Johnson's a good like run after the catch guy. Juju's yeah, a good run after the catch the guy. Claypool Chase is nice. Claypool's a good run after the catch Nigga, guy. Najee uh, Harris had like four, Najee Harris last week has as many carries as he had receptions. So like Duh, he had they, 14 catches. That they have, have a lot of people who Joe. can benefit from catching the ball short and doing something with it after. Is that something to bank on? No. But if it's like control the clock, let their defense be really good. I'm not saying they're gonna win their division. I just think they can be decent. You oh, saw right. that play. That nigga just took he, he took a drop back <laughs> snap and just fell. <laughs> there was a sniper in the building. A sniper oh, yeah. in the building. Bro, that, that, boy was, cooked, that boy was on squid games. They need to <laughs> kick him out back in. Yeah. And it's crazy that they brought him back with no there's no like there's nothing like Haskins is the backup. There's no other him plan and, there him to, and, to move on. Him and Maga Rudolph, yeah. I forgot he was there. See on all yeah. that? He's like oh, a big uh, what's, what's the white chick's name? He's a he's a big Tommy Lorand and they found some of his old tweets of like stuff he was liking on social media. That's what be snitching on people, man. They see what people be liking. People be telling on themselves. Uh, That's how they caught that one chick on the Mandalorian. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, she tweeted she some shit, like, though. Like, she actually said Yeah, she, like, she did she tweet some stuff. Like, talking she about did, and then she quadrupled down on it after yeah. the fact. Yeah. That bitch lost a bag. All right. Disney at 2 and 1, out. Buffalo, Cleveland, Baltimore, Tennessee, Chargers, Dallas, Green Bay, Tampa, New Orleans, San Francisco, Cincinnati. And in inverse of this, who's like the worst? Like, who you think is like probably an imposter in that? Cincinnati, I'd probably say. Um, and they're three and one. It's an asterisk, so. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say Cincinnati. Um, let me see. I'm looking at it now. Uh, that's kind of it. Like, I mean, the Saints probably aren't a legit two and one. We can't keep having wins with the quarterback throwing at 200 yards. I don't know what year yeah. it is. Those are really the only two that I'd say. Because, yeah, like the Bucks, obviously not. The Ravens are good. Pretty confident. Yeah, everybody else is... the real deal, huh? With the... mm. I said I had them winning 13 games, right? What you expect but if, me to if say? If KC's supposed to get better and the Raiders are undefeated and Denver's I think, undefeated. I think, I think the, the Denver hasn't played a team that's won a game yet. Okay, the so Raiders, we'll... the Raiders have you been in one... two overtime games so far that they've won on literal last minute calls or last minute plays. Jamal, you got a team in that group you think is going to probably there's probably an imposter. I don't know, honestly. That is an imposter. You think Cincinnati's legit? You think the Saints are legit? You think the Chargers are legit? You think all those teams are? I think they're top half of the team. Just because top half of the league team. I'm still not. I don't know about the Saints, honestly, because that's still got a, the quarterback play, I guess. But they got a really good roster too, though. So like them being good wouldn't surprise me, because like the roster's really good. And that yeah. division's bad. Oh, uh, actually, never mind. I'm, no, I'm not because okay. Carolina's I'm, straight. Yeah, we got yeah, two I'm playoff both. teams, bro. Carolina we got two is, playoff teams. No, I'm saying the division's bad because I expected Carolina to be worse, and Carolina's looked really good. They've looked super strong. Yeah. I hate they them. Beat, yeah, they beat Houston, potentially have three playoff teams everybody. in there, man. Yeah. Oh, Carolina, Tampa, and uh, the Saints. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't shock think, me. I don't think we're making the playoffs, bro. Not when NFC West has two undefeated teams. Like, no. We're going to find out if the Raiders are for real this week. Yeah. And, the, yeah, you got – yeah, no, no, no. Okay. In undefeated teams, uh, imposters in this group, Denver, uh, the Raiders, Carolina, Rams, and Arizona. Denver, I yeah, I would say Imposters. I would. It wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me the most if the Raiders were that good. Denver, I I just don't see it. Like they look just who they beat too. A, a they beat us, game. the Jets, and the Giants. I think and the Giants. Or, oh my God, I don't know. They yeah. were, They didn't play the Giants week one. They played another. They, they might have played the, the Jets, Giants, Giants and Jets, Jets, Giants yeah. and Jets. Yeah, they beat yeah. the Giants week one. Yeah, so they beat yeah, three they winless teams. Oh, they got the Ravens this week. They win this week though. Does yeah, your attitude that, change? 
Yeah, yeah no, for yeah. Sure. For sure. For sure. And th- yeah, for sure. Not much, but yes. Because I don't I'm still kind of skeptical on the Ravens. Cause they their roster's just been fucked. Decimated with injuries, but shout out to mm-hmm. Lamar, man. And Justin Tucker. Why just cause? Well Lamar when Lamar League comebacks, man, I swear they don't he'll be getting the love like I feel like he deserved it. How much more love do you think he should get? They did miss a delayed game call, like a pretty obvious one. Shout out to that, man. I haven't seen him front flipping to the end zone. All oh, they wouldn't have need yeah. that. Hollywood Brown wouldn't drop three fucking touchdowns in the first half. It's a decent point. Dog. <laughs> they get Rashad he's Bateman so, back. He's so week, annoying though. on fantasy. Like, yes, dog, Hollywood Brown should have 60 points. He's kind of like him and Tyler Lockett are the same. Like, you're either going to get. Tyler Lockett has points. hands. Yeah, Tyler, but Tyler, Lockett Lockett will, will, Tyler Lockett will just go a week with like two targets. But he don't drop them, though. Sure, sure. The production will be the same. <laughs> like, bro. Now, he dropped three touchdowns that first half. No, that's, a, that's a fact. Mm-mm-mm. That is a fact. All right. Um, last thing I got for the NFL, the, um, you also saw the Super Bowl, Super Bowl halftime show got announced? Yes, sir. So it's like the Dr. Dre show, kind of. Um, the G- somebody said they going to perform uh, I Need a Doctor at the Super Bowl, and I just started dying. <laughs> I hate that. You know what? Song. If I, that did crazy chart numbers, I bet that would get on there. I don't know if it did yeah, or not. Nah, it's just I hate that song. But I can't, it probably did just, do good numbers because that was like when we thought the uh, the detox was like coming out that year. So I'm yeah. sure it did well. I'm still I'm kind of confused. Not that I don't want her there. I'm just confused why Mary J. Blige is there. Like I don't, I don't think she would. I don't know what she, she had. Don't with deserve Dr. Dre. to be on there as a black one. What'd you say? Nope, not what I said. Uh-oh. I love Uh-oh. her music. Uh-oh. I just don't Uh-oh. know why. Like. With it's uh, literally the Dr. Dre music? show and Mary Lake J. Bunch. Yeah, hell yeah. What's your favorite song in this dancery? <laughs> I'm going down. That's my shit. Uh, that's my shit. Real love is my shit. Hey, hey, you can make all the jokes you want. Hateration and hateration. That's, that's my a fire ass song. That's song yeah, that's that's a is a banger. Why the rainy days? That's my favorite Mary Jay song. Yeah, real love though. That shit is a bop to this day. That'll get real me out of my seat wherever I'm at. Yeah, that shit is a bop. Why? How come fifty one up there? Which one? How come fifty one up there? No, yeah, uh, fifty and game both not on here. Um, I, I, I could see why. I knew, well, I knew game not going to be on there, but I think game could be in there with this group. He doesn't have problems with anybody in this group. You yeah. can't have fifty and game there though, yeah. even though I think they're probably better today. But like, probably at the same time though, like how big would um, like how we do at the Super Bowl be? Oh my god! Are. If that was if that was the fifty game reunion, like white people would be like, oh wow, I love this song, and niggas would go crazy. <laughs> we rush like, the field. I never thought I'd see that. <laughs> niggas running out the locker room, and it's in LA. Yeah, 50, you know, every time might... when like when it's a moment of like celebration for black people, they got to show people with their flags tied. It'd be one of the moments. <laughs> <laughs> like, fifty might not make it out of the city. <laughs> He's like, oh that's all good. He getting poked up. Yeah, no, but yeah, it was it was just interesting to see Mary because I don't think. She has a song with anybody that's there. So it's, it's just going to be like, okay, the, all these people who have done music together, and then Mary's going to come out and do songs that we love, but why is she doing the songs that we love? She might have a Dre beat, though. You never know. As I don't know like what he did she probably was. She probably has surprising. something. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe she, maybe she does the vocals on some other songs that like aren't um, sure. That would get you to the Super Bowl stage. She's doing background vocals for Stat Quo. I don't, you know, the one year, um, it was Bruno Mars thing and like Beyonce just popped out. Yeah, it that's different. That's different. Not saying I'm comparing Beehive, don't come for us. <laughs> but the, us, people mix you. it. Whatever. Yeah, no, but I, I really like that lineup. I don't really care to see Eminem do anything that's going to be appropriate for him to do on the Super Bowl stage, but like, I don't, I don't hate it. It's whatever. I had a, um, a playlist going today that had quite a bit of Eminem because I, I, it started, I wanted to hear Gatman and Robin, and I just let it keep going after that. So it was in the auto suggest thing, and like it went to like an Obi Tri song, and then it went to like okay. an Eminem Presents the Re Up song after that. And it's like he's rapping his ass off, but like the, the beats are like just like so fucking dark. Not that his content was like on the crash or nothing like that, but yeah. it's like you really got to be yeah. like yeah. in a mood for that. And Blake, I just looked it up. Uh, Dr. Dre made the beat for Family Affair. So that, that makes a lot more sense. 
How, I don't know how that one go. Let's get it crunk up. On oh, that's that one. Okay. That sounds like a That's the Mary Boot song. It sounds yeah, like so a, it's like yeah. her biggest song ever. Mm-hmm. That, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that sounds like a Dr. Dre beat. Right? It yeah. does now that you say that. Yep, Man, 100%. That's funny as hell. So, okay, that makes a bit more sense why she'll be there. You could have heard like, Nate talk like, singing on that song like without yeah. like thinking. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Damn, so, yeah, 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 if this is like Dr. Dre's just like dropping beats and people are coming out and rapping over them that makes perfect sense why she would be there you know like every single time it's really like there. that what was that <laughs> he said his son's gonna be there he will not oh. be there he'll be performing <laughs> in the parking he'll be in the parking lot of sofi nigga be with us they have like that crowd of like people who like are on the field like in front of the stage but they're not it seems like they're not like actually like fans or like paid dancers or some shit <laughs> Yeah, because they ain't feeling like niggas yeah. on there. They, Can you imagine the having... choreography for Dancery? Or for Family <laughs> Affair? Like, Dog, it, it wouldn't matter what song's playing. They're going to do the same shit. They're definitely doing the Mary Stomp. I can't wait to do the Mary Stomp at the Super Bowl stage. <laughs> no, this is going to be great. No, yeah, I'm I really can't excited. wait. I'm very excited for that lineup, though, for sure. I wonder if Five will be with her. That's her boo. Excuse me? They might be the same age. That makes sense. Who? They were out on the town together. He had it. Um, her and uh, Lil Kim in the same night. Look it up. I don't want to. I believe you. I'll take your word for it. Did y'all listen to Meek Mill's album? Good. Say what? Listen. Meek Mill? I ain't listened to it yet. I've only been seeing good stuff about it, though. I haven't listened to it yet, though. It sounded like he didn't have any fun last year. Like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. He's rapping serious. He- he was hanging out with fucking like Robert Kraft every week. Robert Kraft probably tell him to look into crypto or some shit. No, nah, it sounds like he just ignored all that. I was looking at all the negative tweets sent to him or something. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah I've he's, heard he's nothing pretty serious. Things, he's going in. Actually, y'all, y'all was for Lil Wayne and Rich the Kid? I did not, but I heard good things. What you it's got better for? than you would you think. Say, you said Lil Wayne and Rich the Kid? Yeah. Yeah, they dropped the album last oh, night. I, I don't know Rich the Kid song, but I mean, I don't totally really heard him. Estimation on it. What do you say? New Freezer. That's his biggest song. I don't know. Yeah, Kendrick. Plug, you've definitely I know, heard Plug Walk. Just like yeah, I know Rich as I've ever been walk. with him and 5 years. Actually, that's the one song I know. Yeah. Hey, Rich Off Pints 2 is my shit. I listened to that shit like three times a day. I posted it in the group chat four times that came out this Dog, morning. I swear Vezo, man, he be making me want to sip lean and sell drugs. Why don't you? Okay, officer. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Move to Oregon. Everything's legal. The point, points were made. But yeah. no, that shit's hard. And uh, Jay Worthy dropped like two songs last night. I was listening to that. Griselda Did you guys listen Jay to uh, the Larry June and Cardo that dropped a, few, a couple weeks ago? Nah. You don't like Larry June, huh, Blake? No, I don't like him. I just don't listen to him. Oh, okay, Same. what about you, Tyro? You like Larry June? I'm not a huge fan of him. Oh, yeah, you're a Dom nigga. That's why. Okay, never mind. I'm not. Yo, Zaytoven has an album with Country Wayne, like the comedian dude. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. I was like, wait, is there another Country Wayne that I didn't know Is about? he doing like this chocolate dropper thing where he's being Big Drip on every single song and, and rapping? Probably. Love with, the, love with the Drip is one of the, one of the songs. Drip yep. Ladies. That's his rap persona, Big Drip. That's funny. Big Drip. Oh, I'll that? never forget what what Jawan said. That shit, that shit was hilarious. Shout out to Jawan if you listening to this. We oh, know man. we ain't gonna do you like that though. Nah, yeah, we. Your secret safe. Mm-hmm. Jeff, no, you mix the words up yeah, <laughs> horribly and, and, and maybe the worst way, and then try to blame it on Tito's vodka. Yeah, T- Tito's they never made me do that. Nope, that nigga was wild on that day. Um, what else dropped? Oh, Summer Madness. So me, I think me and Jamal watched oh, the whole man. thing. The only battle I missed was they're all. I missed the battle. surf battle. That was the only battle I didn't watch. Oh my god, you missed a fucking body. Yo, a lot of yeah. those uh, battles are getting put on the app. I started seeing the notifications. They're all on the app today. today. They all got put on the oh, app. Oh shit! Today. Okay, I need to see it. Nah, I got to watch. Uh, what was it? I watched Arsenal and uh, Hootie Blue battle. Castro. Lou Castro, that was a really good one. I thought Lou Castro won that one. Big dog. <laughs> I thought Lou Castro won that too. Y'all think he won? Yeah. yeah I, I think that was debatable. I can see nah, it. I, I don't yeah. think the third was close. And I think the second. What? I, I the think, second what? No. The okay, second so the third Lou Castro won close. for sure. I think I think the first two. I think for nah. sure Arsenal won one. The, and the then second I, one, Lou Castro yeah. fucked him up. 
What? I don't know. Yeah, I think I think Lou went crazy in the third for sure too. Yeah, he did go crazy in the yeah. third. Uh what was the battle right after that? Um was it Cage? Chess nine? Easy? Was Chess and Easy next? It was Chess and Easy. And I watched that. I was watching that one as I was like getting close to it. That might be the greatest movie. battle I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my was God. it really? Yes. You think so, <laughs> she, bro? She yeah. was insane. Yes. Yeah. I got to see the fir- each of their first rounds and I got what, the fucking weddings in the middle of nowhere. So I lost reception. Yeah. I can't pick a winner from that battle. You're that watching that during a wedding? No. No. I was. I told you, bitch ass nigga. I was oh. There. It was like an That's hour and a half drive. That's like. But yeah, I've 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 been seeing people post clips of uh John John and Sue Surf and they were like, yo, John John shouldn't even step on the stage with this nigga. John John's been talking this whole entire week too, and he's like, You yeah. can't name me a half of a round that John John I mean Sue Surf's been talking all this week. He said, You can't name me half of a round that John John won in that battle. He's like, it wasn't just a <laughs> thirty, like he was past the thirty. Like, Damn, he got the short like that. I like I like John John. I think John John's yeah, dope. No. Me too, but they were saying that he, don't matter. Yeah. I don't yeah. care what you like. What happened that night? <laughs> How was the? Uh, you guys said that the Cassidy or not Cassidy, but the Reed Dollars meet. Reed Dollars more than very good. Wrong environment. Uh, Wrong environment. They weren't rapping yeah. for that room. They were trying to do small room shit. Yeah, it was kind of whack. Yeah, it, it. They they weren't doing the stage energy shit that you need to do out there. So it I just it didn't flow. I need that. Yeah, but Geechee and Calico, that shit was fire. Um. Yo, Calico, K-Shot hey, he got 30, but he was holding his own. Like, his rounds weren't trash. I don't think Calico got 30. He got 30. I'll take that. I mean, Geechee's, Geechee's a monster. What's oh, he if, do? if Calico did win a round, it was the third, right? Um, I'd have to watch it again. I can't remember at this point. Because that's, that's around when Geechee kind of like, he, I did say, he, he repeated one line like five times. Cause I swear he forgot it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't remember like that, no. I love um, that when an artist when they when they forget one of their lines and they try to act like the crowd's too loud so they gotta keep starting over like yo chill like nobody's Arson lose that a couple thing. times. Yeah. Um that, that's a good way. I think Hollow the Dawn is like dropping in my book. He's had two ugly battles in a row. Um he, and I now think I'm, he kinda I'm I think he might have won that one, but I'm not a big hollow guy. Hollow battle K Shine. Fuck that. Yeah. No, yeah. I really like K Shine. K Shine's energy just is hilarious to me. Same, yeah. That nigga be so animated, hell over the top. They had him <laughs> before the battle, like when they're doing the, like the prep thing. You know, people would be shadow boxing. He yeah. did like shadow gun arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Like this uh, one, look at you. I was watching all the face offs. Those were great. These might have been like the best collection of face offs they've had because it was like niggas would be chilling for a minute and then go crazy. The easy, the block captain, and the uh, chess one was hella good. He said, my like, credit score is 725. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did all this wolf in it, and chess was like, hey, man, I respect that. I want to tell you that just so you know people don't think it's no weird shit. But I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you just said. Nigga, I'm about to body you. <laughs> it's like, I'm glad, you got, I'm glad you got out. You got clean. You smart. But I don't give a fuck. He's going in. That shit was funny. Yeah, I need to go back and watch those this week. Yeah, they all on the app now. Check that out. Um, Shakur, go ahead and send that log in, my boy. Shit. Well, oh, I didn't already send it to you? No, nah, you sent me the caffeine one. I need the URL app, too. It's the same shit. Oh, is it? But You don't need no <laughs> login for caffeine? You sent him a caffeine login? Yeah, no, I, I sent I, thought, I thought that was a subscription one. I don't know why you sent me that. <laughs> it's <That's laughs> free. <laughs> I think I did send you. You don't even need to sign in the caffeine. You can he watch did, the film. He definitely sent me the caffeine one. I was like, okay. I, I mean, that's where it's live. I guess you'd have to pay. <laughs> he could have sent you a YouTube sign in. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? And I, I already had a fucking login for caffeine too, but it kept saying like, yeah, you're unable to sign in with this account or some shit. I think you do got to log in. Yeah, you don't. The only reason you need to sign in is if you want to vote on the battles when you're watching them. Didn't or that you need that. to sign in. Didn't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, good to know. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go through more. So this week. What else you want to talk about, man? I got nothing else written down. Oh, you shit. guys watch uh, What If this week? Yes. What'd, what'd y'all think? I thought this episode was great. Was cool. I was distracted by my baby, so tell me what happened. Uh, yeah, so this week, spoil, spoiler alert. So this one like kind of tied everything together. And it's funny that we mentioned last week about uh, like they, they end every episode on a cliffhanger because they never go back to him. But so this one, obviously, you know, Ultron shows up and like 
He's wrecking shit. He got the he got the Infinity Stones, and he, so he gets the Mind Stone. Uh, the Avengers don't beat him, so he gets Vision's body, and he's able to like go through and do whatever. And then uh, he like, I think when he just has the Mind Stone, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm ascending to a higher plane. I need to kill all the humans." So mm-hmm. he wipes out all the humans on Earth, uh, and then Thanos shows up with cuts the half, that. to get the Mind Stone. Yeah, cuts him in half. Then he has all the Infinity Stones. And then he's like, he literally goes through the entire galaxy. Like, he goes to Asgard. He goes to every single, yep. like, where everybody's from. Destroys all them. Um, and then he gets to the end. And the Watcher's like, wow, wow like, he really destroyed the entire universe. I can't believe this. And then he hears the Watcher. <laughs> so he's like, I'm going to find you. And then he breaks through the fucking, to the multiverse. Uh, and him and the Watcher are fighting. Because he's like, oh, wow, there's so many universes for me to destroy. Um, and he's like... Beast, him and the Watcher have a good ass fight. Um, he's like, "Yo, yeah, you've had power dope. to like see all these universes, and you just sat by not doing anything. I'm gonna go through and destroy all of them because they need me." Um, and then it kind of looks, and then the Watcher brings out Doctor Strange that he trapped in his own little universe that he let get trapped in his own universe. He's like, "Yeah, I need your help." So I'm assuming that's probably gonna be the series finale. I, oh, I thought it was over. I would hope not. <laughs> I would hope they wouldn't. I mean, I guess that could be season two. Yeah, yeah. Is but this it's, the ninth episode? Because it's supposed to be getting nine episodes for season I one. I think that so, was eight. I thought that was so, eight, but I could. Be I wrong. think nine is the number cut off. But yeah, so I kind of yeah, I liked how like obviously every episode or two didn't matter, but like the a couple like the last three or three of the last four at least kind of tied together, and I, and like the Watcher, I guess, kind of ends up being the main character since he's the one fighting Ultron now. Dude, mm. fuck that last, not the last episode, but the episode before that. That nah, shit was yeah. terrible. The, the Thor Did you watch that trash. one, Blake? The Thor one? Yeah, the Party God episode. That shit was and the, boo-boo. And the fact that, like, the Thor episode was the, like, buffer between the episodes that actually ended up mattering makes even less sense in the grand scheme of things. Like, Dying we really didn't, garbage, we bro. just didn't need that episode. That shit was an AM, PM cheeseburger, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. You gotta be a sick nigga to get a cheeseburger from AM, PM. I you have before anything? and I worked at REI. Them AM, PM cheeseburgers used to be decent. Uh, not I'm when they left out there too long. Food. Should be hard yeah. on one side. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I was, uh, when I was in, when we were in high school, I was friends with the dude that cooked them at the, uh, at the AM, PM on spray. So I used to get them fresh. Yes, sir. I bought a sandwich from a gas station one time. I was like, I think I was with Blake. You remember one time I like threw away a whole fucking sandwich from a gas station? I like spit it so. out because it it tasted like paper and staples or some shit, bro. Yeah, you it, might it be tasted. the most you the most wasteful nigga I know. You bought a forty piece of nuggets from Popeyes and just threw them. Dog, away. I was so hyped. I hit Alan. I'm like, hey, bro, we finna get these nuggets. Dog, them nug- dog. If you would have threw them nuggets at like a windshield, you'd have cracked it. <laughs> the number just it was hella hard breading around them nuggets. I ate AM, PM, Subway, and McDonald's for lunch for like a year and a half when I worked at uh, REI, bro. It was, you really? Yeah, yeah. That's Post shit that builds a motherfucker, man. That was hard yeah. times. You didn't even need yeah. the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga was eating yoga mats and McDoubles. <laughs> oh, shit. I used to get... Bro, no, we used to like, eat so much fast food as like growing up and shit. Yeah, when I think oh, about yeah. this shit, like thinking back on it, I would eat like two McDoubles and two McChickens for for my lunch. Yeah. If I, cause it was cash only cafeteria REI, yeah, but the cafeteria was bomb as hell. Like it was fantastic. Like probably the second best food I've ever had at a job next to Costco. Costco can't be fucking touched. Like their cafeteria Obviously. is, my god, like yeah. stupid. I remember um, you always brag about that. I'm telling, I'll be telling, I tell people this every single time. That place ruined me. I've been chasing the experience I had that I worked there since I left there. I've never had anything that compares to it. That was the <laughs> best place to fucking work. Like I would. Like, yeah, no. If, if I was like talking to somebody who was like just about to graduate high school, I would tell them like go push carts at Costco. Because even if like go push carts at Costco and go to community college, like if shit don't work out for you in the school route, like let's say you don't you don't get that part done, if you just stay working on this place you're working at, your money goes up every single year. It doesn't matter. There's no cap. It just keeps going up as long as you've yeah. been there. So just work there until you figure out the rest of shit in your life. Like you'll be fine. That was the Shout best company on the planet. Take I swear notes, to kids, go work at yeah. Costco. Work at Costco. Apply to Costco right now. You make less than fifteen dollars an hour or in that neighborhood. Work at Costco. Apply to Costco. Oh, you let me get on that right now. <laughs> fifteen dollars, not fifteen thousand dollars an hour. Oh no. yeah. No, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. 
<laughs> All right, hey, uh, before, hey, Shakur, you, what, I, we got we to gotta work this into a new segment now that we, uh, well, it's well, legal, legal here. What, what bets you got going this week? Actually, uh, where are you? Yeah, up or down, like for the year? Hey, I should, actually. Nah, damn, yeah. Oh, uh, are you I up? I haven't looked at the schedule enough. I would like to do a three team parlay, though. I think, I think my thing now is I'm going to try to do like a $20, like $20 parlay on uh, all the morning games. So Versus I know what? my mornings good. What was huh? that? What were you doing before? Tell them, tell them what you're doing before. I was been too much trying to get rich too fast, bro. And you don't even <laughs> got to do that, too. No, so I I'll, I'll tell you the tickets I got. So I I lost on two tickets yesterday because I took the, uh, I took the um the Bengals to win by seven and a half, and of course they didn't. So this first one I got a uh, it's all money lines right. I bet five dollars to win four seventy five. I took the Bengals money line, the Cowboys money line over the Panthers, I took the Browns over the Vikings. I took the Lions over the Bears, Colts over the Dolphins, Chiefs over the Eagles. Uh, Saints over the Giants, Titans over the Jets, Rams over the Cardinals, and Ravens over the uh, Broncos. Five dollars to win four seventy five. You can't go wrong there, man. Like I don't feel like I really risked anything. I feel like there's gonna be some tricky games. Hey, Probably. you know what? You, you gonna hey. hear it here first? Jets gonna sneak up and beat the Titans. Yeah, you told me that the Jags Jesus. are gonna beat the um, the Bengals too. So I don't really give a fuck about your opinion. That was close. I'm telling you, man. Dog, they don't got no Julio and no AJ this week. It's gonna be tough. They just haven't practiced. They didn't say they weren't playing. They got that boy. No, they're both out. AJ Brown's out. They got yeah, that man. Julio's out too. And I think they, they're both they got out. That man. All right. So this oh, is yeah, my, never mind. And this is my big yeah, ticket right, for the week. Mind. I bet five dollars to win a thousand forty-five. Oh uh, my so god! I, I took the Cowboys money line over the Panthers. I took the Lions plus three over the Bears. <laughs> this is gonna probably be the one that fucks me. Uh, John took... Jones versus the, versus the state of Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think he's lost yet, has he? Uh, <laughs> no. I took I took Houston to cover the spread against the Bills because the spread is seventeen points. I just need them to lose by sixteen. Okay, I could see that. I would do that honestly. Yeah, seventeen's took, a lot of points. Seventeen's a lot. Yeah, uh, I, I took the Browns. Uh, I took the over or sorry the under in the Browns Vikings game. The under is fifty three. Uh, I think that's gonna I'll, fuck you. I think that one's maybe, gonna get you. Maybe Kirk Cousins uh, looked like Joe Montana last week. <laughs> I took. Uh, I also took the Browns spread. It's one and a half. I took Kansas City over Philly by seven. Uh, Titans money line over the Jets. Saints money line over the Giants. I took the over in the Cardinals Ram game. That's fifty four and a half. And then I took the Ravens okay. uh, to win because their spread's only one. Okay, shit, yeah, that I, hey, so I bet a total of four grand, and my total, like if I if everything went right, it was five grand. But obviously, I lost on two of those tickets already. So no, you didn't. No, know. I just you, think you the one that's going to get you on grand. that last one is the you, no, no, you no, had I, you I, had I, I, game. You had four grand to win. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I bet four forty dollars to win X amount. Okay, you said you bet a total of four grand. That means you risked four oh, grand. Oh no, no, I, I thought I said forty. Like, Goddamn, big money time. No, <laughs> fuck out of here. I'm not Jamal. Jamal sent me tickets of like, yeah, five hundred on no. I because if you think about it, like Listen, I'd rather man. risk a total of a hundred dollars across you know six different tickets with yes. a potential outcome of fifteen thousand dollars versus two tickets for five hundred dollars. And if one thing goes wrong, I'm fucked. I told you. I was trying to hit yeah, this. Sure. But yeah, came in here with the Cartier frames on. I was like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> so I think uh, we'll see how this week goes. But I think if I win, I'm going to just have a little bankroll going and go up to Snoqualmie until Emerald Queen opens up and put a little money down every week. So we'll have a little betting corner at the end of the podcast mm-hmm. so we can get some degenerates listening to us. I'm going to start betting golf with you. Hey, bet. Just, you know, I'll, I'll probably go up on one of my off days every week. So I'll let you know. Yeah, once the the PG like they get back in full swing and all the guys start playing, I have one that I know is gonna make me money every week. I, every I week. need to see. I need to see what this uh, spread is on for Canelo. I'm about to just bet against him every time. It's a little bit of money, just maybe once in a while. Hey man, I don't. Know, so let me say that I don't know everything about the the plant guy. Yeah, but I, I liked what nice. he was talking at the podium. I've heard Caleb Plant is nice, and he look, yeah. N- not the size matters. He looks a lot bigger than Canelo. Canelo's also fucked up some other things that are bigger than him. If he's a nasty man, then I'm rescinding my endorsement <laughs> retroactively. But I'm just saying, I like what he was talking he's, about. Yeah, I, he's that. married to a black woman, so that's already good in my book. And you called Canelo out for the steroids, so I'll I'll take it. 
I just saw the funniest tweet. I have to share it with you guys. You in her D <laughs> You in her DMs, but I'm the reason both of y'all about to get tested at the clinic. <laughs> That note, the, the nasty man has returned. Freaky oh, cool. shit. I've never... That's that's funny as fuck. Well. Might be episode 28 for him, folks. God damn it, not. Are y'all going to download PGA 2K21 and play with me? Yeah, yeah I'll download like, it. I'm like, right, I, right. Will. I will. I'll play some golf. Yeah, I'll we'll get out there. I you won't? Fuck you, Tyro. Probably not. I mean, I guess if Shakur buys it, I'll download it. Can't guarantee it's free. No, it's, it's free. free on it's going to be PS Plus uh, game. Oof, don't even know if I want to do that. Yeah, I'll, Damn. I'll download it. Hey, fuck Tyro. I'll get on there. You're disgusted. Hey, I, I, I haven't seen Blake uh, pop up on Avengers once. I have. True. Look, man, this is the problem. So, it. realistically, it's extremely hard for us three to play together. You two have a way better chance of that happening. But me sure. going to sleep at 9 o'clock and being three hours ahead of you guys, it's yeah, almost never going to happen. Because by the time you guys get off of work, I'm going to sleep. Blah, 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 blah. So, now this is true. And on the weekends, you'd be... You'd be being a parent, unfortunately. So. Yeah. Got shit I got to be responsible for over here. Not shit. A beautiful little girl who's walking now. So. <laughs> She's walking now? Yeah. She just started. All right. I need, I'm going to start sending you a video so we can get her crip walking before she starts like fully. She's kind of doing that a little bit. If you're not like really trying to have her spell the letters. <laughs> like. <laughs> That's gonna be, I need her first words to be, it's crap. Uh, it's too late for that. Fuck. Yeah, she's got da 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 da. No, oh, that don't count. I don't count. Because we say out to <laughs> Athena, so she says out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Starting her on the bossy path. All right, twenty-eight. All right, uh, fellas. Baby, two eight, Shody. I think we out of here. Anything else? Any last words, Jamal? Anyone you want to shout out? Uh, we can't just pat and shout out. Nah, man, just shout out Candace Patton, man. All right. Freaky Barry boys. ain't treating you right. I can't believe you passed me on the Flash. That means you've been watching the shit out of the Flash lately. I have. Season two was insane, dog. Zoom, Zoom is a fucking menace. Oh yeah, he's yeah he's ridiculous. They yeah. just finished off Zoom where I'm at now. Well, I can go on my Netflix and check where I'm at. Yeah, no, he's. I know. Uh, dude, Barry was sick when Patty left. Patty was cute. Yeah, he fucked that up. He should have just told her who he was, but at the same time, he don't want he don't like wanting. Yeah, you can't be telling everybody who you are. And they're kind of loose with it though. Like if he, they're kind of really loose with it. I'm gonna just say that. Like he'd be like going places with like uh, Doctor Well, Cisco, and uh, Candace. I think her name is or yeah. not Candace. Uh, whoever, whoever the girl's name is, they'd be always popping up places together, and then everybody knows that they work at Star Labs. They'll take him to Star Labs. The suit will be right there. And they never explain who Barry is to the people who are going oh in there God and seeing all this damn. shit. It's like, well, if only one person this can be, like, I don't know. Nigga, there's 23 episodes in season two. I'm on yeah. episode 17. No, episode 16. I'll get on down. The last episode I just watched was the King Shark episode. I think that might be a better, at least appearance-wise, King Shark than the one that was actually in the thing. But, um, the as that, a that shark the- just looks super trash. Like, uh... Chuck E. Cheese costume. Yeah, but as far as like actual being a character, the one in the um, um, Suicide Squad movie is a better King Shark. The best King Shark is in the Harley Quinn show. That nigga is funny on there. He's because he, he really really talks. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious on there. Yeah, Damn, how many episodes, right. how many seasons there on this shit? There's seven seasons of this. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm Ever never twenty eight man. We out of here. I'm not talking. Oh, about. I thought we were done. Oh, no, shit. flash that went over. I'm punching this.